we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Alright, let's continue with space exploration. Uh, where I don't know why these trains are no pathing to pick up crinite core fragments. Uh, it's all in the same spot. Let's see. Um... Oh, right. Because of those signals. I remembered realizing I would have to change this. Fraser K, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, honestly, I think I should just remove these two signals um, this time. Both of these items have a stack size of 20, so it really doesn't take long for the trains to pick up the items. Um, and I don't see a way to fit it so that they have separate, um, look at, look at how fast that was, wow. Uh, I don't see a way to fit it so that they have separate, um, rail sectors here regardless. And the stack size is so small that they're not really getting in each other's way. So, this is, this is fine, I think. It's a fine. Uh, Fraser K, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If I didn't say so already, I'm, my brain is already making me very confused today. Uh, let's send Decon Train to pick up those two signals. Otherwise, it'll drive me a little crazy. And... Uh, that's it. So now we'll just sit quietly and wait for 47% of the space elevator research. Uh, just kidding, but I wonder what we should do in the meantime. You said it twice. Did you manage to avoid the heat today? Uh, yes and no. I haven't been out in the heat, but it is, uh, pretty bad here at the moment. I wonder what temperature we're looking at. Let me just check... Uh, it's a little bit worse in this room, but just under 34 degrees. Only 18% humidity this time. Alright, um, what resource are we slowest on? Um, I would say barrel is the one that we're slow on that matters the most, but... I think we've already caught up to the point where Space Elevator isn't going to bottleneck on Beryl at all, and we may even have enough Beryl in orbit uh, to finish that research. You could set up cable manufacturing and prep for the Space Elevator. That's a point. Um, I need the Space Elevator research to actually unlock the recipe, but we can design it uh, in the editor. That's not a problem. Uh, I might have to, like, cheat the research on this side, though. Um, I was going to say I'll save it just before I check, but we, we literally just loaded a save. 34 inside? Uh, I would say it's probably worse in here. <laughs> okay. Philip B., good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, alright, can I... How do we make the cable? We use... Huh? Wait, what? Oh, left clicked up. Okay, so just regular assembly machines. Uh, and we can either use nanomaterial and superconductive cable later on. That's going to be a hell of a lot more efficient, it looks like. Or we can use three aeroframe poles, one heavy girder, one holmium cable, and two coal per elevator cable. Okay. Um, maybe I should do that at the mall for the moment? I don't know if it deserves a whole rail block, uh, if we'll have to produce it at that scale. Uh, yeah, so I need to... Oh, no, wait. Don't have to unlock the research. 
in my cabin it's 12 degrees inside. I don't like the cold, but right now it's sounding a bit more appealing. Uh, Gnikivdlob, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Alright, so it's, I mean, it's literally just one production step. Uh, Holmium cable, heavy girder, and aeroframe pole. Wait, do we have the poles? Yeah, we do. I remember researching them. Aeroframe pole is barrel and iron stick. Um, girders is just iridium broken down a couple of times. Uh, we have iridium plate and beryllium plate directly into the rail network, right? I might just pick those up and put them into the mold rather than bring ingots. Uh, iridium, same deal. Fantastic. Uh, and what was the other thing? Cable... Holmium cable. Okay. So Holmium, Iridium, and Beryl. I don't think I've actually brought any of those things to the mall just yet. Let's get all the exotic plates in here. I think we've already got Cryonite rods. No? No Cryonite rods here. I'm a little surprised. Alright, so... In uh, plate... Plate and plate. Um, what do they stack to? 100, 240. Um, so is it 8,000 for one train load? Uh, 16k plate. And what's 80 times 40? 3,200. And those things should already be on their way. Beautiful. Fat boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'd rather game in that, to be honest. Yeah, doing good. I like it. It's still a lot warmer than the white stuff outside. Fair enough. Alright. Um. So we're, we're going to need some... Let me have a look on this side. Cable is under... Space elevator cable is under manufacturing. Is it way down here somewhere? I'm hoping it's in order... Yeah, here we go. Aeroframe pole comes first. Uh, what was the other thing? Girders come first. And wasn't there one more? Uh, Holmium Cable. Holmium Cable is up here. So this is actually already in order so that the Autocrafter could make it. That's good. Um, so what if we just add requests over here for Holmium Cable? On the other hand, I'm just realizing I haven't made any production blocks. Okay, so... We're definitely going to need a lot of Holmium Cable, um, and all of these things benefit from production modules. So I should probably make some blocks to make these things first. What was the other thing that barrel plate goes into? Directly? Uh, poles... And I guess I'll make aeroframe bulkheads somewhere else. Oh, it's got to be... No? I was thinking aeroframe scaffold. Scaffold. That is pole, crinite rod, immersium plate. Alright, let's put together some rail blocks for these intermediate products so we can start using prop modules from the start. Are you saying make more blocks? Yes. Yes, indeed. I was going to just have the mole do it, but then we'd have no production bonuses. 
Um, I mean, I may yet. Hold on, let's see. Can we get, can we prod bonus the cables? Cable. Oh, we can. All right then. So first things first. Holmium cable. Uh, it's a very basic recipe, but I remember the throughput with the belts and stuff being a bit challenging. Uh, for now, we'll go with rod threes and some basic beacons. Uh, let's get Roboport as a placeholder and Holmium Cable. Plastic and Holmium in, Cable out. Very, very simple. Uh, we need some prod modules though. And that goes there. Now I can't see that the beacon would cover them. All right, cool. What would what sort of rate would we be looking at? Uh, let's go for our usual, somewhat energy efficient build. And some power. Uh, per minute, that's not what I'm looking for. It's actually only a bit more than a blue belt out. Uh, or two blue belts, rather. We need two blue belts of Holmium plate in, and a blue belt of plastic. Elevator finished. Elevator is at 54%. Um, but the work is finished to get the elevator. Or at least to unlock the research for the elevator. Okay. Um, maybe move that over a bit. Forty seven point five two per second. I don't like it. What if I did this many? That's a bit less than a blue belt. And that is slightly more. I guess we could do that. Uh, and I think I would like to just have loaders for the output. Because belts can be really weird about it. Actually... Even though we're not using inserters, would we need to merge it with splitters to make the output work properly? So they don't block each other? I think, yeah, I think this would have the same problem. Like, this one here is blocked by this, so you wouldn't actually get full throughput, weirdly enough. Uh, question is, can I fit the inputs? I don't think so. We need 34 plus 17. Uh, significantly more than one blue belt of input. I could, of course, make it a little bit wider. Um, how about... Is this going to be more than half a belt on each side? Nope, less than half a belt of Holmium plate. So we could do a pair of half and half belts. Should be okay. Uh, let's fit our substations in before... Before we do the belts, potentially. 
and I want this moved out here. And then... Substations... Could maybe fit like so. That kind of works. Don't love this part, but I guess it's not that bad. I kind of want some symmetry in it though. How much, how much do they need individually? Uh, less than one item per second. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And... I feel like, for consistency's sake, this should be moved up. Kind of. Looks a little better. And then output. Uh, we're just gonna go with... Need some power. For the rate calc. These two would be a bit more than one blue belt. Oh wait, we can have, yeah, if we're going to have like four output belts, there's going to be plenty of room for the outputs. Which means, give me my symmetry back. So each of these is a bit more than half a blue belt. Which means we're looking at a bit more than two blue belts. Should be fine. I don't know how symmetrical all of this is going to look, though. Maybe bring it into one container. And then just push it into here. We don't have to have three belts going to the front in order to avoid bottlenecking. One, two, three. Uh, regardless. Well, if this is only slightly more than half a belt, then it shouldn't be an issue if we just have a normal bunch of inserters outputting. Individually, we're looking at less than two per second. Let's go with fast inserters. They'll need to be the side up here and something similar over here nice and simple I want to do half and half belts for all four of these inputs. So we're going to need a nice big container and then split from that. What's our overall rate for inputs? Two belts of holmium plate, one belt of plastic. Uh, so doing it like this should be fine. We've got all the room in the world, really. And lay it out however we want to. Let's make it line up with the outer uh, big containers. 
That's almost perfectly symmetrical. I need just a little bit of space here. Oh, right, this is different. Bring it down one. I believe that is the same. Four tiles, four tiles, very nice. And we're just going to go with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight outputs. Uh, one is going to be plastic, the other is going to be holmium plate. And we're going to go with, well, this one's going to go here, so I guess this will go like that. Whoops. And this should be symmetrical. And this one goes over here. And that looks pretty neat. Not quite far enough to do undergrounds. Doesn't look quite right. Uh, I think we'll need red wire for this if we're going to use green for the LTN. And for our inputs, we need plastic and holmium plate. Uh, and we need to filter these. Plastic, holmium plate, and settings. Uh, how many stacks do we have here? 256, uh, so obviously 128 times how many? They're both the same stack size. Alright, so 12800. Plastic less than. And this one's Holmium plate. And copy, paste, flip, or rotate. Seems good. There are not enough input belts. Uh, I think we calculated that there are. 36 plastic bar per second, that's less than one belt. 72 holmium plate per second, that's less than two belts. Uh, and the outputs here are obviously um, one belt of each on both sides in total. So two belts plastic, two belts holmium plate going down this way. I, I think it's fine. All right, there's our output. This is going to go here, and this can go down here, and just for the look of it, I realize we don't actually need this here, but I love the symmetry. Uh, and we've got three belts of output. Slightly more than two belts holmium cable is our uh, total for the whole build. Uh, three belts go into this, two belts go into this, which is way more than we need. Uh, for half the train. And I'm just going to keep this super simple. Um, we're going to ask for like 120 stacks before a train is scheduled. Um, I'm, I'm going to try that. I, I've been trying that instead of any fancy shenanigans uh, to try and rebalance or keep this balanced and allow short trains to pick it up. So basically we only allow one cargo wagon worth of stuff in the front uh, and we make sure that there's three cargo wagons of stuff here before a train is scheduled. Um, 
and that way the extra stuff pushed to the front while the train is being loaded should be irrelevant. Jakubez, Asandanima, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, is that actually all of the power poles except for the bulk rail stuff? I think it is. That is gloriously neat. Let's put this one here. And this one here. Very tidy. That's looking pretty good to me. Alright, let's do the input. We are requesting plastic and holmium plate. It's going into an assembler. And out comes holmium cable. Uh, and then we need to request two train loads of each resource. No short trains. Don't need a fluid request threshold. Um, 80 stacks times 100 times 2 is 16k. That sounds right. That's the old one train load fault. Uh, and I'll just double check. Stack size 100. Seems good. Okay, and now, last but not least, Palmium Cable Provider. Uh, short trains, long trains, 120 stack threshold. Uh, that seems fine. Nice. Let's blueprint. Remove the infinity accumulator. Holmium cable. Snap to grid. I never catch the moment, like normally if I input 25-1 here to start with, it sometimes changes it back to 24-0 on the Y, uh, on the position and offset and stuff. Uh, I don't know when or why it does that, but this seems fine. Also, I need to remove the RoboPort, because that was just a placeholder for future beacons. And let's not make the mistake of... Um, are you kidding me? I already built this? No. Okay, well, I like this new one better. Um, apparently I already have Holmium Cable somewhere. Uh, storage. Holmium Cable. We haven't built it? We haven't built it yet, apparently. Uh, let's look at all the bulk rail unloaders that have plastic. That's not it. Yeah, I don't think we've built it yet. Alright, cool. Uh, where should we build it? Probably close to where we're getting Holmium ingots from, which is actually up here. For the most part. I really don't want to build it on top of 10 million iron. Another planet, perhaps? I don't think so. Um, can I build this block and still find this iron? Not really. Oh, we've got a block down here, I think. Uh, yeah. As long as I don't care about doubling it in the same block. We can build that right here. Perfect. Alright, so that's going to be Holmium Cable. And let's grab our construction train. Park it right next to this thing. Give it a little time, and see if there's anything missing. 
that's a good block. Easy, indeed. This is another perk of building these things as half blocks to start with. Oh, hey. What are you doing? Oh, I remember this. You never quite got inactivity. There's 503... Pyroflux? Oh, the pipes are backward. Or one of them. Uh, the pumps, rather. This one pump was the wrong way around. Alright, cool. Uh, I guess I'll give that a bit more time. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the inactivity condition will never be met as long as there's any fumes of pyroflux on this side. Uh, but yeah, I want to decon this in the relatively near future. Uh, apparently we didn't get all our prod modules in yet. We also didn't get all of our belts done. So no harm done just yet. Why don't I go give a hand? Actually, I think I'm already carrying everything we need here. Up we go. Robots, do your thing. Apparently I'm lacking... Uh, nothing. Actually. Cool. That's our first prod bonus Tolmium cable. And it's coming through pretty quick. Okay. Uh, next we need... Aeroframe poles, and or we don't need scaffold yet. Uh, what was it? I'm trying to make cable. I need heavy girders. So I don't know if aeroframe poles are going to be something we want to manu uh, manufacture on the spot. They only stack to fifty. That's not that bad, but. I mean, it's worse than transporting iron and beryllium plate and then making it on the spot. I, and I have a feeling it's going to be like iron sticks, where it's better to just make them in place. So, let's see. We need them for mole things. We do need them for an aeroframe scaffold build, but we'll probably... Potentially make those on the spot for them. They go into science, cryogun, weapon delivery cannon, pylon, spell evader. Um, yeah. That's looking pretty low throughput overall. I think we'll probably always make poles on the spot. Uh, and that just leaves heavy girders, which I'm sure we'll be wanting to put into trains. Same with heavy bearings, which are another product of that. Okay. Uh, so let's do a build for heavy girders. Which are pretty simple, as I recall. Heavy gutter. Uh, we need vulcanite blocks for these. Ouch. And four iridium plate. At least we only need one block. Alright, what sort of... You know what? I might even just copy this and change... Uh, change the recipes and requests and stuff. Depending on how the rate looks. So if this was heavy girders... Uh, 
uh, total rate is only less than 20 per second. Really not that much. How about... Some long arms for output. Don't need to use both sides of the belt, but we'll be doing that anyway. And bring it up here. We merge. And up we go. Uh, so we're looking for Vulcanite block and heavy uh, iridium plate. Only 60 iridium plate per second. That's more than a blue belt. Uh, I think the plate has a terrible stack size as well. Iridium plate. Wherefore art thou? 40. That's not that bad. So we need 60 per second. That's a stack and a half. Um, so 53 seconds per train. Clist uh, of Clades, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, Raiders. How's your stream today? Plate up. Is that like a cooking game or something? Uh, on each side, we only need... Well, we need more than half a belt of Iridium Plate, so we may as well keep this layout. With conveyors, indeed. So, actual sushi. Uh, let's, don't forget the long arms over here. And... Uh, so Vulcanite blocks stack to 200. So this would be like 24k. And Iridium plate stacks to 40. Uh, that'd be like 5k. Not that we're going to summon that much from the train network. Vulcanite block, iridium plate. I'm pretty sure we're already making plate and putting it in the rail network. Yeah, that's nice and convenient. And over here, uh, vulcanite block, two train loads. Iridium plate, uh, let's see, 40 times 160, 6.4k. And we're requesting vulcanite block, iridium plate for the purposes of making heavy girders. Um, and I don't think we're going to need this big container, not even a little bit. Um, considering how resource-dense heavy girders are, this is way more than enough storage already. Heavy girders, provider. Fantastic. First solar flare hit me yesterday, missed my base, nice. Just now getting to rocket science. It begins. Uh, we've already done the power and everything. Let's just double check, we'll do a little simulation. Uh, and this one, wait. Yeah, that was the Iridium plate. Looking good. Oh, and I need the filters. 
I think I'd like the Vulcanite blocks in the middle because we need one quarter as many of those. And there's our Iridium plate. Fantastic. And that should be actually a little bit more than a blue belt per second. Just a little bit. So I guess we'll do it like this. Uh, considering it's slightly more than one blue belt, I don't think we need more than 45 per second to fill up the front cargo wagon. On second thought, if this got full... Uh, this is probably fine. If anything, this might prevent problems when the trains are getting loaded. Alright. I didn't even notice, but I actually copied the near side stuff last time. It won't make a difference, but it's going to bother me ever so slightly. Oh no, wait, this is, this is correct. You absolute dub. Okay. But on our... Uh, on our... Uh, Gerda's one, we're going to want near side and far side. Wait, how much do we get out of one side? 23 per second. Yeah, it is slightly more than half a belt. That's actually pretty fast. And a let's blueprint. Um, train stop names, yes. Heavy girders. Snap to grid. And that's it. Metals, iridium. Let's put all this iridium stuff together. Uh, and the only thing left is the poles. Um, the thing is, I don't know how fast we're going to need space elevator cables. Well, you know what? If it's overkill to build a half block for it, we're just going to do overkill... And if it's, like, super overkill, we can roll it back. Inserters and roboports still in? Still in. I think I... No, I definitely got rid of the roboport. It's just the infinity chest and super inserter. But I forgot. Okay. Where should we build our girders? Probably nice and close to Iridium Plate. I think here is probably fine. Fantastic. Cargo rockets or capsules? What do you use for primary item transfer between planets? Uh, yeah, cargo rockets. We don't really have a choice at this point. Alright, uh, let's park over here. Wait for inactivity. And... Uh, 
I'd better make sure this part gets built smoothly. You know what, let's just cancel this part until we know we've got the prod modules. Well, don't, don't cancel the build, just turn it away and we can fix that remotely. Because uh, I don't want to build this stuff without prods. Iridium's kind of precious at this stage, probably. With our current production rate. Now then. Uh, that just leaves... Uh, I'm pretty sure we're not going to put poles into the rail network. We've talked about this. Space elevator cables... Might not be the worst idea, though. What are they stacked to? Only 20. Okay. I wonder how quickly they get consumed. Delivery cannon can't reach far or something? Uh, delivery cannons can go anywhere in the solar system. Um, but they cost more energy to go further and to get off a heavier planet. But they don't cost any more liquid rocket fuel to go further, so you can you can save on material by paying electricity with those. But they're still never as good at scale uh, in terms of material efficiency compared to cargo rockets. Uh, okay, so step one. Well, why don't I copy this layout again? And we'll probably just make a couple of little tweaks. Uh, preferably without the inputs. What the? Oh, it still had stuff in it. Okay. Alright, so if we're making cable, I forgot we're going to have to do the poles at the start of the build. But I just want to have a look and see what kind of rate we would get. Five point five four space elevator elevator cables per second. Maybe it won't be that insane having a whole half block to build these. Um, we can probably... What's this? 1.25 poles per second? And we need 10 times that, I think. Uh, what if we had the rods and everything? Wait, wrong recipe. Uh, Aeroframe pole. Also, this layout won't work because it's got four inputs it needs. Actually, it will because we've got double belt inputs. We can add some long arm inserters. I might have to move this. Um, but more to the point, if we're going to need 11.5 Aeroframe poles per second... Uh, that would be 22. Maybe I should do a separate rail block for these? Or maybe I could build them in the half block? Hey, Mikelat. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You don't have anything to apologize for. I was fine with that. Cannons are restricted to one stack per shot. Yeah, you're paying... And the stack size um, for some materials is terrible. Uh, but you're paying a whole cannon capsule per stack. Is it nearly one pole to two cable? Um, kinda, yeah. If we had... On a larger scale, the net rate... Wait, what? That's without the beacons. 
Let me copy this for a sec. And we want whole cable cable. That is actually a really, really minuscule net positive. So yeah, I guess you could say it's two to one. Uh, that's actually pretty neat. So could we potentially fit... Hmm. I think I should just start from scratch for the layout for this one. Evil Plur, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Although I kind of really like this neat pattern we've got going on. Um, one to two, you say. I kind of want to do it sort of like, uh, sort of like we do with green circuits. I didn't actually leave any room for beacons with this build, though. Hmm. You know what? Um, it's definitely slow enough for a sushi build. 2.28, 2.28, 8.6, and 5.76. Uh... We could do 11.25 items per second in uh, per resource if we did a fancy sushi belt with one quarter inputs. And then we can save some space. I would definitely be lazy and put them in my rail network. Indeed. Oh, the poles? But we looked at what the poles go into. Um... Like they're less they're less stack dense than their inputs. Even after productivity bonuses, probably maybe even with prod nines. Um and all they go into is mall stuff. Um it would make making aeroframe scaffolding a lot easier, I guess, as well. For aeroframe scaffold. What if this uh for poles rather, what if this was aeroframe scaffold? How many poles would we want? 21 per second. Rut row. Uh, we'd need about 37, 38 machines. Maybe I should just put poles in the, uh, in the rail network. Stack size 50 isn't bad. We, we work with worse. It's the perfect build for filtered cargo wagons as belts. What? I am Red Wraith. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, I kind of... I, I think we might actually just do poles in the rail network. It's not actually that bad of an idea. Even though there's not that many things it goes into, it simplifies a couple of other builds by a lot. What kind of rate do we get out of this layout? Uh, less than a red belt. Blue belt of barrel in, half a belt, half a blue belt of iron stick. Oh, god damn it! we need iron sticks. <sighs> well, that's all the more reason to not make the sticks on the spot, because we have to do, like, a pair of on-the-spot builds. Yeah, I'm sold on... Wait, we're not going to put iron sticks in the rail network. That's never happening. Don't stop asking. Yeah, no. Not, not a chance. Um, although, wait. Since when does iron stick go into... Sorry, right click. Holmium solenoid. Bruh. 
Well, we can get these two from the rail network and just bring some iron plate and make the sticks on the spot. You are for sure 100% correct here, but I am 100% lazy. <laughs> Instead of input belts, you use cargo wagons with five item filters. Yeah, I don't like those builds as much. Um, okay, how should we do our iron sticks for this build? 21 per second. If this was iron stick... We would need 10 machines to support it. Hmm. So like a quarter? That's not going to fit neatly, is it? That's very positive on iron sticks. And this is going to be very negative on iron sticks. No, that's actually really good. Positive... Less than one per second. I could live with that. Alright, what are the belts going to look like? Um, so iron sticks are going to output to here. Won't the rate be really low? Less than five per second. So we don't need the double belts. Um, but I want the iron sticks on one side. How many inputs go into this? Two. Okay, cool. So, let's just double check. Beryllium plate, 18 per second, less than half a blue belt. That's gonna go here. And this doesn't need anything. That's on the wrong side, isn't it? Oh, I could put... No, that's a terrible idea. Perfect ratio-ish. Yeah, it's good enough. Um, so that's going to have... Individually, these machines need... Less than two items per second in. Long arms will be fine. That's actually input. And that's actually output. Wait, no it isn't. Um, and the question remains how to do this belt as elegantly as possible. I think we do it like this. Alright, so that's beryllium plate. Uh, and we need iron stick, uh, iron plate rather. Here, 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 and here. Well, it's not going to be a problem to make that nice and symmetrical, even if totally oversupplied. Get rid of all of this. And then, same thing over here. Nice symmetry. Uh, feel like I'm missing something. Just the output belts. Uh, the whole thing is like 5 per second, right? Oh, it's 23.7 per second. Why did I think it was that slow? So we're positive on iron sticks, and we get 23.7 aeroframe poles per second. Uh, that is significantly less than one belt. 
So I think we could output it like this. Some long arms over here. And some short arms. Like so. And you know what? This one bothers me now. Let's just do it this way. Uh, these are still wrong. Let's do it on the side of where the beacon is centered. Let's just get rid of all of that. Uh, you know what, why don't I just delete everything here and copy paste flip over here. That'll avoid any mistakes. All right, let's test out inputs. We need iron plate. And beryllium plate, which stacks to 200. Iron plate, beryllium plate, and test inputs. Beryllium plate. Fantastic. While we're at it, let's just double check over here. What? Over here, that uh, we did indeed set our limiters correctly. That one looks over full. What's going on here? Twelve K, twelve K. Oh, I set both of these to exactly half. Yeah, that should be okay. I didn't leave a gap. Cool. Um this is looking a little slow. Probably because it's got almost no power. There's our sticks, which we can't output fast enough. Especially with the long arm inserters. Uh, on this side, we're looking okay, actually. Uh, and I'll just check. It's not like we need more than half a belt of iron stick. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so in that case... I guess like that. Should be fine. Why is this backed up already? Oh, because we're not voiding the input, or the output rather. So I'll just double check the rate again, but I'm pretty sure we're getting way less than one belt. 39 aeroframe pulls per second. That is actually pretty close to one belt. Um, I guess I was checking only half of it before. Um, but that's quite good. Alright, every frame pull. Divider. And... I need to change these inputs. Raise a K? What's the bonk for? Was that 128k for iron plate filter? Uh, yeah, we just need to... Uh... Oh, it should be like 12... Yeah, one less zero. Whoops. We're not actually going to summon that much from the trains, but nonetheless, we want to make sure there's always room for both resources to come in here. Uh, speaking of the trains, iron plate, a couple of train loads, beryllium plate, a couple of train loads.
And that should probably do it. Station name. Iron plate, beryllium plate, and we're making uh, sticks, aeroframe poles. Oh! Mad Dame Salsa, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is the choice to use long arms instead of moving everything a tile closer to do with symmetry around the large warehouse? Uh, now that I look at it, there's no reason to do it. We should be able to just replace these. Pretty sure. and a cut and a paste fantastic indeed yeah that was actually sort of just a carryover from the other builds that I copied this from to start with uh, but I need to do near side for these ones. I really am appreciating being able to output them like that. I could use a loader to accomplish the same thing, but it wouldn't look as good. Right, um, seems like we're not getting barrel plate down the bottom here. Wait, did I forget? Yeah, no, no, I was wrong. Um, we do need this extra space because we need beryllium plate, uh, more than half a stack of beryllium plate. Sorry, more than half a belt of beryllium plate um, to make its way down here. In which case... Uh, how should I go about this? Splitter? That's not gonna work, is it? Uh, what would be the neatest looking version of this? Is that even on the right side? It is. Does it get better than that, aesthetically? I hope so. It's not the worst, but it definitely could improve, I hope. The thing is, I need it on opposite sides, unless I'm going to do the near far side thing over here. But I like the symmetry of this. Honestly, I think this might just be it. Unless I want to do like... Like that. Which I'd have to do twice. Near far wherever you are, indeed. Ran out of undergrounds, apparently. What? Could you give me some undergrounds? Play? What the hell? There we go. Nope. Still, still not working the way I thought it would. Okay.
That's a bit better. Yeah, I don't hate the look of this on second inspection. Are our outputs keeping up? Uh, yes. Yes, they are. And there's just enough space on the belt that inserters aren't having too much trouble without needing an extra space to merge in somewhere. Cool. That's looking pretty tidy. Um... And that's looking pretty full already. Let's a blueprint. Barrel sticks. Otherwise known as arrow frame. Hole. And remove the cheat items. And that should be everything. It did it again. I definitely did 25 up here. Okay. Metals, beryllium, there we go. Now where should we actually build it? Let's check our old build, uh, our most recent build over here first. Uh, we're missing speed modules and a few prods. I think I haven't got speed modules in the construction train yet. Let's do them over here. One stack should be more than enough, because they're always just going in beacons. And wherever I have the request for efficiencies, we'll add a request for speed. That should be on its way already. Give that a minute. While we design where we're going to put our aeroframe poles. Considering we have brilliant plate over this way, uh, this seems as good a place as any. Kind of want to get that iron mine out of the way. I can't fit a block around it, can I? Nope, it is right on top of where a block would be. Let's just build a couple of blocks here. Delete this. What? No, bad. Uh, and I'll throw down some lazy mines. And maybe just add a few more manually. that give us full coverage? Not quite. Uh, and I think we'll do our barrel sticks down here. Otherwise we'll have to wait a while. So right next to the other new build. Heavy girders. Arrow frame poles. And I think we were doing Holmium Cable up here. It's already done. Uh, it's actually already saturated. Wow. Wow. That's fantastic. Um, Alright, where's our construction train? It should be ready. It is. And... Let's place... It over here for now. I might have to move it again to build all this. Uh, but yeah, that just leaves the actual cables. Whoa? What, the cables? Uh, the Holmium cables? Yeah, they got done fast. 
Um, all right, so I wanted to probably start with this layout, but we'll change it up a bit. Uh, once again, I copied the test inputs by mistake. Let's wait till this drains out. How's our research? 59%. It is creeping along. It's getting there. How's our range here? About what I thought it would be. Uh, and we'll probably want... What are you doing here? Probably want our trains to come in like this. And I like this. Nice and simple. Gonna have to add some more belts. And over here as well. Once more. Cool. Uh, and we'll need the electrical power to actually reach. Nice soup. Um, can I get you to park down here? Not yet. Alright, let's have a look at building the spellevator cables. How did no output come in here? Whatever. Uh, so, cable. I just want to check as well. I'm pretty sure... Uh, the aeroframe poles that we're building already will be way more than enough to keep up with this. It's actually... oh, iron stick, there's barely positive. Yeah, aeroframe cables, we're making plenty. Temporary rotate input for new build while waiting for prods? What? Temporary rotate? Uh, I don't understand. Let's go down here, wait for inactivity, and then we'll go back and resupply. That might be enough to get that iron mine finished. How's our power doing? Oh wow, very very well. Yeah, I sort of forgot for a second that we made more nuclear. Hey, we've got uranium fuel cells. Uh, visible in the drop-off chests over here. That's good. Um, I wonder how we've been doing for... Uranium-238. I don't see enough for a train load. But I can't think of many places where we're asking for it. It's empty over here, so maybe not that great. Okay. Alright, so we want... a very small amount of four different resources coming in. Uh, I could just use the same layout, that'd be the easiest, laziest way to do it, but let's be fancy. It's fun to be fancy sometimes. Let's move all of this stuff in one tile. Orbit requests uranium too? Oh, good point, I forgot. Actually, I'm amazed it's been working so well for so long. We've got 49k uranium-238 up here. So that's where it's been going. Well, that's one place. Uh, 
Okay. Wait, how many uh, catalogs do we have here? 50? What do we use the catalogs for? Other than the science? Directly? Thruster suit mug 3. Not really worried about that right now. Uh, I think we should just consume all of those immediately. Well, that's going to give us a little burst of research. Or not so little. Oh, the poor bot's chasing the construction train back. You can do it. Actually, no you can't. Oh, we've already got iron plate being dropped off here. I guess that's fine. Uh, we've already got... We don't have all the prods. So let's delay that. And... Oh, I remember what... I think I know what you're talking about before. Uh, did we get all of our prods here? It looks like we did. And this input can go in. We're still missing Vulcanite blocks, which I'm not terribly surprised about. Uh, we're always struggling a bit with the Vulcanite. Well, blocks in particular, we overbuilt. Oh, these have Prod 2s. We should definitely, definitely upgrade those in a big hurry. How long would it take someone who's only played vanilla to beat space exploration? Uh, well, it's normal for experienced players to take months. Um, so add a bit on top of that. You're going to learn as you go, no matter how good you are. Like, there's always, there's always more. I don't think we need this many prod threes, actually. But we've got this overbuilt vulcanite block production area. Um, and it's a really important bottleneck uh, for Vulcanite. Also, we need like six prods per machine here. Cool. So that changes from productivity bonus 30%. To 40%. That is not insignificant. Uh, what about up here? What do we got? Prod 2s. Let's fix that. In fact... Uh, well, there's so many clicks to do here. Let's make a module inserter for it. Centrifuge, Prod 3s, and a go. Can I not delete this? Uh. There we go. Uh, and we should probably... Depending on the rate change that I just made... I should have checked what it was before. I guess I could. I don't have any centrifuges. Um... Prod 2s are speed minus 15%, this is speed minus 20%. So we lost like another 10% speed on this from base. Um, we're consuming 17.28 crushed per second. And we're able to supply... twenty-five. Apparently we're able to supply 50 crushed Vulcanite per second. Uh, so I think we're overdue to double this. Let's do that. Let me have a look. Vulcanite core fragments should be backed up if that's correct. It looks like they are. Okay. So we're going to go with unloader, same settings, 
Don't forget the wire to tell LTN what's already in these containers. Uh, and I don't see anything here that can't be flipped. So we should be able to just go... Try not to copy the LTN train stop light. Copy, paste, flip. It's on the inner side. Is this crisscrossing? Did I put it... No? Yes, I did. Uh, this build is actually sticking out across the center of the map by... Oh, zero tiles. Never mind. Uh, okay. Those two signals tell us where the middle is. So if I flip this and we go here... I think I forgot to flip it a second ago. I'll come back with the 48 centrifuges um, and our output needs to go... What, how fast is this? Kind of slow. 10 enriched per second uh, and we also get some sand. Barely any sand. Okay, so... Well, there's no room to feed it into here. I used belts here for once, so now I don't have a container to just put it in. Uh, I guess I could use belts over here as well. Alright, so I need to come back with 48 centrifuges, 24 strong boxes, which I could actually handcraft, but all the steel beams would take a while. Um, I'll just handcraft the one storehouse. Hadby, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 500 hours or more is what I'm expecting from what people have said. I'm cruising past 300 and only at utility slash prod sites. Yeah, it depends. Also, with this uh, playthrough, I kind of went for some decisions which uh, are going to make the start a bit slower, but should pay off in the long run. Now then. Alright, so we need strong boxes, centrifuges. Probably easiest if I built this myself. Centrifuges are usually up here somewhere. No, I think I saw them. That's only five. The bots are overfilling my inventory. Centrifuge. Uh, here's some. Give me a stack. And then strong boxes. Uh, they're all in here for some reason. Where? Oh, there they are, strong boxes. I think 40 was enough, right? Control shift click on an item to search for it. Ah, true. Decisions like K2? Oh, I went past it. This is closer than I thought. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, and we need... What if I start with this? That's not going to work. Uh, I need sand to find its way over here. And maybe like this as well. Should be fine. It's a bit spaghetti, but that's what you get for using splitters instead of containers with filtered outputs. Um, 
Um, I'll just double check, but the throughput should be low enough that we don't have to care about which side of the belt we're using. And... That's it. I kind of want to do it like this. Alright, let's get our construction train to stop by here. Because I'm too lazy to go get the belts. Uh, and that should double our enriched after we gave it prod threes. Uh, and I believe we already filled the Vulcanite core fragments with prod trees. Seems a good. Alright, let's head over to our new builds. And see if we're missing anything else here. Bunch of prods. May as well fix this now. And that's our aeroframe poles. Nice. Uh, I need the construction train to come back here again as well. Where did I put it? Is it still heading back? Yep. Should probably get it to pay this spot a visit first. And I think it's time to finish designing tables. Um, okay. Let's remove that for now. So we have four inputs. Holmium cable, heavy girder, everything pole, and coal. Uh, we're going to need the double splitter thing and it doesn't matter which way we do this but we're gonna bottleneck on just one piece of belt through here and then prioritize the recycled stuff so that if this backs up or when this backs up uh, this stuff the main input gets slowed down And we're going to put two different items on sides of the belt. Let me just demonstrate, actually. So we got coal. We got aeroframe pole. And... Uh, by doing it like this, we end up with 50% of half a belt of each resource. Um, because it goes through the splitter. Uh, it's bottlenecked at uh, this spot right here. So this can only be one belt of throughput. Uh, and then it goes 50-50, 50% to the destination, 50% gets recycled. We input priority the recycled stuff, therefore this part right here only gets put in at half speed. Still need to bring in the right half by one block. What? The right half by one block. don't understand. We'll get to it. Um, and then if we do this twice and then merge them, uh, we can get four different items sharing a belt equally. So what were the other two inputs? Holmium cable and heavy girder. Heavy 
die gotta. Simple as that. So if we pause this at any moment, you can see a consistent pattern of one, two, three, four items. So that's our merger thing. Uh, probably put it about here, since it takes up a bit of space. And not sure where I'm going to fit. Probably like that. Can we do better? If we do the corners... Uh, it's sort of tighter, but... Then it has to come down here. I don't hate that. It's using a bit more belt than I had in mind. Alternatively... Can we do anything clever with the corners like this? I don't think so. I don't think that helps at all. It's spaghetti on a spaghetti. Need four inputs for from the unloader. Oh, that's fine. We can fit those easily. Um, I think the one, the, the second one that I made probably looks the best. Okay. And then... Do it this way. Bonk. You need four inputs from the unloader. Yes, I know. Dark, uh, dark sky full of stars. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think we can go back up this way. It's kind of tidy. And then over like this. Uh, we're not going to be using that. Why is this backward? There we go. The fourth column needs to be moved to the left. Fourth column. I'm not sure... You mean this? We're gonna have it go back up like this. And we need to recycle anything that doesn't get picked up. Because the machines are stupid. They don't take things equally. Um, they tend to like try and pick up all the Holmium cable that they need for three recipes. And then move on to the next resource. So you don't end up, uh, no matter how perfect your inputs are, you don't end up with equal stuff on the end of the belt. Um, so you have to recycle it. Yep. Alright. Uh, we're not going to have room for these inputs here, though. God damn it. Also, that one's going to have to move slightly, but that's trivial. Okay. Uh, I guess that's not the layer we're going to use. Probably this one. Damn it. There we go. enough room to make this all nice and cozy. What? Uh, and then I 
I could either do it like this. Wait a sec. What if... That's not going to work, is it? If the main input went in here and the recycled stuff jumped to the middle... Uh, there's no room to make that happen. Maybe there's a tidier way to do it. But I don't see it today. Can we face this down this way? Maybe? If we do this part differently? This part's not going to have room, is it? Unless... doesn't quite work. I was gonna do this one coming back up here and this one going over here. There's just barely not enough room for the underground. I mean there technically is but there would be stuck stuff stuck on the belt for all eternity and I'm not all about that. Uh, so instead let's do it this way. That's kind of decent. Or maybe even like that. Sort of looks a bit more consistent. Actually, it doesn't look consistent, but I do think it looks better. Okay. Uh, so, our four inputs are Holmium Cable, Heavy Girder, Volume cable, heavy girder, uh, aeroframe pole, and coal. And filters are set directly. Pole was last. Pole. Pole, pole, girder. Girder. And what? Holmium cable. And there's really no reason to worry about filling this a lot. Uh, why don't we just give it like 50 each or something? Because the whole thing's going to consume pretty slowly anyway. Alright, so... 1, 2, 3, 4. Pole. Pole. Got a... And cable. And we need filters on these things. Uh, I think that's going to lead to this being really imbalanced, actually. Okay, how many stacks do we have? 256 for four resources. Uh, that's not that much. So yeah, I think we will fill this thing up. Uh, all right, what are the stack sizes? 50, 50, 50, and 50. That's incredibly convenient. Uh, 256 over 4, 60 stacks each. We'll leave a little wiggle room. 60 times 50, 3k. And 3k. And 3k. And 
into 3k. Uh, and the recycled stuff is unconditional. Won't the big chest fill up over time with some resources from the recycle belt? Uh, yeah, but I'm leaving like 16 stacks empty. Um, for each, uh, four for each resource. Whoa, this one's looking like a bit of a mess. Um, alright, so... Holmium cable, girder, hole, and coal. There we go. And then we should get our nice, neat output. Fantastic. Uh, it seems like we're a bit short on power right now. There we go. That is probably by far the tidiest I've done this sushi. Um, considering our total output is less than 10 per second, I think we'll be going with one belt. And one belt. I guess we will go up this way. That's looking pretty good. And we automatically put equal items on each side of the belt, not that it matters. Cool, I think that's it. Very, very nice. Alright, so this is cable pickup. Space elevator cable, that is. Um, I'll just check the recipe. But it wasn't like... It needs like a superconductive cable, nanomaterial, aeroframe pole. Uh, it's not like the other recipe, which was for silicon, I think. Where it made sense to build it... Uh, no, not silicon. Electronic components. Uh, these two different recipes use three of the same ingredients. Uh, where it made complete sense to design it for the second version from the start. Because it would be easy to upgrade to this. Um, but the later version of Space Elevator Cable is completely different, pretty much. So this will be fine. The four colors on the belts are epic, indeed. Alright, so let's a blueprint this. And that's our first build of Space Elevator Cable. Sp cable? No. Elevator cable. I don't think I named the train stops or did the LTN settings. Alright, so we're looking for cable, girder, pole, and coal. And we're making cable. And I need to do the LTN settings. Uh, this one is already set up, actually. Oh. Come to think of it, let's look at... Uh, space elevator cable doesn't really go into anything, except for space elevators. I don't know what kind of volume we're going to need, though, so I'll set it up for short or long trains to pick this up. Um, and then we need to request... 
Couple of train loads of this. Couple of train loads of that. And so on. And so on. Come to think of it, if we're requesting eight train loads of stuff and we weren't using much of this container, uh, this would get rather full. Did you do the input station name? Yes, just now. Alright, blueprint time. I hope. Cable. Thick cable. And remove the cheat items. And that should do it. Uh-oh. It did the thing again where it changed the X value. Cool. Uh, let's put that next to the spell evader. Nice. Alright, construction train. Get yourself over here. And how's this mine going? Pretty good by the look of it. Should probably limit these to 40 stacks just to keep it balanced. I should really update that blueprint. That drill's already empty. Here comes our train, or not. There it is. It's just rail. Was there another build that we hadn't quite finished? No. We've got our cable, we've got our other two new intermediate products. Uh, and now we need to do the spell evader cables. I'm thinking since we get coal from here, we also get coal from over here. We've got two of the other three products here. We should probably build the spell evader cables around this area somewhere. I feel like here makes sense somehow. And we're not actually going to be able to set the recipe yet, but... Oh, that's a problem. Um, can we actually fit this properly at the moment? Yeah, I think so. Should be fine. Alright, construction train. Uh, how about you come over here? But not before you get emptied and resupplied. Uh, and this time I'm just gonna... give it a condition that'll actually be triggered. Wait a sec, no, we, we need inactivity. Otherwise it won't get loaded. Only trouble with this is it'll go around in a loop when it's finished. I wish we could read the train's schedule. Alright. Uh, I need to drop off these prods. Been carrying them a long time, actually. Wait, wait, wait. Can't I go build this to some extent? Hey, damsel? Wait. Oh, this is a preemptive message. 
LSF, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I was wondering where my notification was. And here comes the train already. Pre-raid, indeed. Don't give me any spicy rocks. We didn't get any spicy rocks this time. Uh, I don't have any rail on me right now. More like... Brezel, indeed. Damsel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Uh, how's the rest of your stream today? Andy? Uh, Cruzy Buto, good to see you again. Not Steel Mage, welcome also. Could you make a inaccessible dummy station to stop the loop? Uh, I'm not sure how... Oh, I'm trying to tab your name, but I'm getting your emotes. There we go. Freezel, yes. Uh, where's our train? Here it is. Oh, now it's moving forward. I forgot I got rid of... I, I forgot I gave it that two-minute delay. Stream was good. Definitely a laid-back day. Nice. So our construction train should be coming over as soon as it's loaded. Uh, and we are making... Well, I, I don't actually have the recipe I can set yet. But this is our build to make uh, space elevator cables. And we did some nice sushi. Hey, Boofy. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We are 61% on the Spellevator research. Uh, judging by yesterday, it'll probably take approximately the rest of the stream <laughs> to unlock. And we're finding a couple of things to do before that happens. Uh, is our train coming yet? No. Still getting loaded. I want to hurry up and change its schedule back, before I forget. Not a bad idea, you could add a no path stop so that it doesn't go in loops, but it just sits there and moans. <laughs> there we go. Alright, let's change that back. Uh, and the construction train should be bringing everything it needs. Let's double check our wiring. Seems good. Filters. Seems good. We already tested that. And here comes the long boy. Is this mine empty? Yes, it is. Let's get it out of here. Is there any sulfuric acid here? Nope, we already got rid of it. Actually, there's like 1.8k. Apparently. There's like a there's like 834 sulfuric acid that we can't detect with a circuit. Um also a bunch of it here. Whatever. I'm just gonna pretend that I'm not worried about it. And apparently all of this is in range of a RoboPort already. So we don't actually need our deconstruction train, but I was I was getting ready to show it off. Uh, this is gonna be tricky. Getting rid of that one piece of rail. Do these bots have storage? Yeah, they do. And it's this one. How... There we go. Fantastic. Alright, looks like... We've got everything we need here for our build. How many trains are on their way here? Six? Okay. Seems good. And we are no-pathing all over the place. 
Nobody saw that? Indeed. Uh, are our trains coming now? Yes, they are. Beautiful. Uh, and unfortunately we can't actually set our recipe for the Spellevator cable until that 61% becomes 100%, which is going to take a minute. Um, science pack. We've been doing... There's a gap. Why is there a gap? Well, now I can't tell how fast we're doing it. Uh, at least 1.2 per minute. But that still leaves, like, 600 minutes to go. That doesn't sound right. I calculated it yesterday, and the estimate for how long the science would take was way higher than it was actually happening. Um, so, I don't know. Oh, I think I know why there's a gap. I think we've finished going through our 50 extra astronomic catalogs um, a bit faster... or a bit slower than I expected. I thought there'd be a bump in the research. But let's look at catalog consumption. No, I thought that would be there'd be a more obvious spike. Maybe this was it? No, that was eight and a half hours ago. I don't know. Where we're going, we don't need no parts. There's our beautiful... Oh, it's missing a resource. We don't have girders yet. I'm not terribly surprised. Uh, what are we missing? Iridium plate. There's iridium plate here. Oh, we're looking for 120 stacks. Actually, this is a good opportunity. Um, I want to see if 90 stacks, for example, is enough to make sure this doesn't cause any problems with no circuit wire here. I guess it depends on the throughput of this thing. If it can push more than one stack per second. Uh, I don't know. I keep trying to come up with different ways, uh, looking for the most elegant, simple way to do. Short trains or long trains can pick this stuff up and it's not a problem. But, wow, that's fast. Okay, yeah. Uh, 90 was actually okay. It doesn't seem like the material costs are the problem. Have you considered throwing some speed modules in your science setup? Uh, have we not? I guess not. Do we have any speeds up here? Speed... We've got 32 speed 3s. Uh, how many would I actually need, though? Because we're not actually bottlenecking on... We're just barely not bottlenecking on the research server. We're bottlenecking on visible. Well, why don't we start with the visible specifically? Visible observation frames. What am I doing? Module inserter. We need telescope. And four speed modules, I guess. I'm pretty sure visible is the green one. That should shift the bottleneck a bit. Looks like you're missing items in the Astro Science Pack. What do you mean?
catalogs. Yeah, they... Oh, that's why we were putting them into the... Uh, into the robot network, because they get brought over here. Well, that eventually sorts itself out when this is saturated. Oh, we've got a bunch of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we've got a bunch of SIG data, which is usually the bottleneck. Um, alright. Catalog... Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, no, that's right. Catalog... I knew there was some reason I was putting this in a passive provider. Uh, catalog greater than... One? Is that going to split it evenly between these two? I think it is. Yeah, there we go. I mean, there'll be a few catalogs in here. Like three. There'll be one catalog here because only one appears at a time. Even if the bots can pick up three at a time. And... All the rest after that will go in. That should be fine. Alright, so we're going to get a little burst of Astro Science again. I'm a little concerned about Iridium, but it's not like I expected great throughput for Iridium yet. We do have a bunch of ingots. I could set it up so that we don't prioritize ingots into the rail network. But ingots are what we're sending up by cargo rocket. Which is what we probably should do. It'll be kind of a moot point once we do get the spell evader though. You don't have to max them all on modules, just give them as many as the building which has the least slots, uh, I guess. To be honest, just one speed, speed module in each of these is probably enough to shift the bottleneck over to uh, the astronomic catalogue. Let's put speed modules in here and see what happens. Research server... Um, see where the bottleneck goes after this. Probably to one of these. So that's plus 80% speed. We need more than plus 80 over here. Actually, why don't I just use some of the cheaper ones? That should still keep the bottleneck at making the catalogs. Um, I'm pretty sure these machines are way faster than they need to be for the number of telescopes. E no, we're positive on visible frames now. Just barely. We're negative on infrared and negative on UV. Okay. I don't think we were very negative. Let's just give it a couple of speed ones. I think we have about a million of those. And are we still positive on these things? Uh, blank observation frame, 10 per second. This could only consume 5.76. So, very yes. Cool. And we should still be bottlenecked on catalogs, but not by much, actually. That's a decent ratio, then. Alright, let's double check 
observation frame was still net negative on the other two. Uh, let's give them some more. I wonder if just speed ones would be enough. Perfect. Slightly positive on everything. That, that's close enough. So there shouldn't be a moment where we're not making a catalogue now. Oh, never mind. I thought we were positive on visible, but apparently not. Visible... Observation frame. 0 0.33. Net positive. I don't get it. Maybe it's the inconsistency of this build, uh, this recipe, and it needs to build up a surplus to not get gaps like that. Also, I'm still not dealing with the junk data cards or scrap. I'm surprised we're not dealing with the scrap. Oh, we are. It's just too slow. How's our power? Totally fine. Uh, tell you what. Recycling machine. Hurry up, please. Bots can't keep up? I'm pretty sure they can. We've got a million logistic bots, and uh, less than 50 of them are active. So they're not even in danger of crashing. Move in. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It's positive on the circle things, but maybe not positive on the card things. Yeah, I think we're fine on the card things, but... Oh. Never mind. I thought we were positive on the card things. Oh, we, we were before I put the speed modules in here. And if I speed these up we're going to need even more telescopes uh, this is a this is fine i don't want to put more time into it i think it would be better spent getting more iridium at this point uh gibbel we're actually bottlenecked on iridium processing uh core fragments it looks like So let's do a little something about that. And down here. Um, I don't actually have the modules. I do have the speed modules apparently. So we got our speed at least. We can process nine point. Oh, we're slightly net negative on iridite. That's good, actually. Uh, nine point six iridite core fragments per second. How much do we actually have coming from Gibbel? If the cargo rockets keep up, I think we've got four. No. Uh, we've got a bunch of core mining drills. Real uh, entity. We've got five. Unless I misread that. Nope, five. So let's see. We're getting 12.9 iridium core fragments per second. Uh, and with this we can process 9.6. How's our power? Pretty damn good. I think instead of... Um, building a whole other block. We'll just pay a bit more electricity for this one. So that's 16 core fragments per second it can process. Let's bring the construction train over for the efficiency modules.
Is it positive on the circle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hissing walnuts, if I didn't say so. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so last I've checked, we're super saturated with uh, cargo rocket sections. Liquid rocket fuel depends on the planet. On Hagen, I haven't checked in a while, but it's probably fine. Where are we making it? Here we go. Oh, wow, it's saturated. Well, one would expect it to be saturated or empty, I guess. Uh, so that's good. So we're not having any trouble getting our cargo rocket sections to our outposts. Uh, we do have water on this planet. Liquid rocket fuel, we're using oil though. What? Oh no. This thing is looking for greater than 199k. And even though we can't... Heavy oil? What? Oh, there's no water here. What the hell? What? Hold up. There's more heavy oil than light oil? If heavy oil is greater than light oil, which it is, the wire isn't connected. Uh, okay. I'm surprised this hasn't caused a catastrophe. Um, but there's actually tons of oil of all types. Uh, looks like our venting thing is working. But if we overfill with petroleum, more importantly, we've got tons of light oil for liquid rocket fuel. Liquid rocket fuel is totally saturated. Um, but yeah, I think we were just bottlenecked on iridium core fragment processing. Hey, Dilka. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right. That's a lot of crushed iridite. Are we not... We're probably not able to keep up with that now. Crushed iridite... Negative 5.4 per second. Uh, 12.6 per second. We need, like, two more of these builds. Uh, and if I want to prod module these better... Well, actually... If I give these good prod modules... I was going to say two builds would be a bit overkill, but that's fine. Uh, but two more of these builds with... Bigger prod bonuses should be even better. Don't know about the ratios though. Uh, blast cake is actually perfect. And we're not worried about any other input for this recipe. Since that comes from somewhere else. Uh, I can't prod this and I wouldn't really want to. Why is this saturated? Huh. Um, is it causing any problems? It looks like it will soon, because there won't be room for the dirty iridium water. Um, maybe I should add a container... And we'll block this belt if there's much of anything in it. Or how about just connect to here? Beads uh, equals zero. 
Wait, what? Oh, we need to read belts over this end. Okay. So we stop sending bees through here until this part's empty. I think that'll prevent this jamming. Which it had better do soon because we're running out of room for dirty iridium water. Yeah, I think that'll work. And our ratios are slightly net negative on iridium powder. Not sure if I care. It's close enough, I think. Although, let's see, iridium powder, 4.96 per second. We'd need nine machines to keep up with it. This is ten. Uh, so we could get rid of one of these. We'll just leave that as it is for the moment. Right then. I want another block to process iridium ingots, and I want it nice and close to where our crushed iridite comes from. So probably up here. Seems good. And let's get a rail block in here. What's this? Oh, I need to get rid of these. From the highway. And then that goes there. And once again, this is ingots. Uh, let's get our construction train to pay it a visit. Whoops. And since I'm still carrying 600,000 prod modules, Let's stand over here. We also need some filtration plants, which I don't think the construction train is going to be carrying, because we don't build those often. plants? Probably yes. F in the chat for the cargo rocket. Did it crash? Yep. The iridite one. Uh, cargo rockets. needed here anymore? We need some more blue belt probably. Looks like my bots aren't doing anything. Let's go back to the mall. You're handcrafting small engines? Uh, it's just for filtration plants. We're already like almost halfway done. Uh, and I needed some more blue belt. I was going to put these prods back here. I wouldn't be surprised if it was... Nope. We're actually still making these pretty slowly. How did we accumulate so many if we didn't gain a bunch more while I was away? Old Busk, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. When a bazillion at the hub? 
Yeah, I just didn't think it would take this long to handcraft these things. It's like click, 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 click. It's done. As far as my attention is concerned. Uh, and player time is the real currency. Also, we don't actually need the filtration plants for, like... Oh. I guess we do have filtration plants... Uh, in the train. How's our scrap processing going up here? 69,000? Okay. What's our theoretical max rate of scrap? Since we gave it those speed modules. Uh, we're still very net positive on scrap. If everything runs simultaneously. Uh oh. Well, it's not like we're going to run out of storage space, right? Right? So what are we missing here? One steam engine? And I think a bunch of blue belt. And that's about it. Pretty much. I'm not even going to look for the steam engine. It is so much easier to just handcraft it. I didn't get blue belt though. Uh, you need a blue belt. Just need to store it until spell evader is done? Exactly. Just sweep it under the rug. Why do I have a bunch of prod twos? I remember why. It's because I replaced them. I think I should probably focus on increasing our Vulcanite. Um, if this is... I think we're bottlenecking on the actual core fragments. Um, compared to before where we were bottlenecking on processing. We can process 48 per second. Okay, that's way more than I thought. Uh, I think we've actually got a whole lot of Vulcanite that we had saved up, a crushed Vulcanite, before we doubled this. So that's going to help. Let's look at the graph. Vulcanite over the last hour, 10 hours. It's actually a lot flatter than I thought it would be. Uh, it's definitely improved over the last hour. Let's look at the main thing we care about. Vulcanite blocks have shot up. Looks like our baseline is like, uh, like 800 per minute now. Seems a good. Yeah, 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 it's nearly 800 per minute. So like four stacks. That should be fine. Did we get any Vulcanite delivered here? Yes, we did. I forgot it was actually a Iridium Plate that we were waiting for. Which is why we just did this build, which I need to go finish. Can you speed mod core mining drills? You cannot. The only way to make core mining drills faster is build more of them. And that actually makes them individually slower. Uh, so really, the way to make core mining drills faster is build them on more surfaces. Alright, so we only need nine of these. Let's get rid of that one. Rate calc should tell us... We're still slightly net negative on Iridium Powder, that's fine. 0.44... And this consumes 0.6, so yeah. I don't actually want to be net positive on Iridium Powder. 
if we're already going to be slightly net negative on Blast Cake. We'll just keep those both slightly net negative. Mining Speed Tech also upgrades Core Drill. Yes, it does. Uh, mining Productivity Bonuses just straight up give you more from the Core Drills. Alright, what would it take to increase our Vulcanite throughput more? Uh, it would take more Core Mining Drills. Wasn't I going to send Vulcanite as well? I don't think we need to send Coal back anymore. Uh, we've got copious coal that we're getting since we did the coal filtration recipe. We've got loads and loads and loads of oil on this planet, uh, and this gives us a lot of petroleum and coal. Uh, so I think instead of spending cargo rocket sections on sending coal back at this point, maybe I should change it to vulcanite? Uh, what kind of drills do we have here? Big mining drill? I'll just double check we don't need some kind of acid. Pretty sure we don't. Oh wait, I forgot the stack The stack size for Vulcanite is abysmal. Um, which is why I didn't do this sooner. If I recall correctly, it's actually kind of, even without prod modules, uh, it's actually kind of better sending them back as core fragments. Yep. One stack of core fragments gives us one and a quarter stacks of vulcanite. Um, and some pyroflux and stone and regular core fragments. Uh, and that's without a productivity bonus. Abysmal greater than coal anyway? I don't know. On the other hand, our cargo rocket sections are a lot cheaper, uh, a lot more affordable than they used to be. What's going on here? Why are we out of fast inserter? Uh, we're making fast inserters here. Regular inserter, burner. We've got burners. What the hell happened here? Oh, wow. Oh, okay. We're so saturated on cargo rocket sections that this output that I didn't control uh, filled it up with cargo rocket sections so we can't make burner inserters, so we can't keep making cargo pods. But considering that the object, uh, the goal of this block is cargo rocket sections, I think that's probably fine. No, that's, that's actually totally okay, weirdly enough, as long as it doesn't... Yeah, because look, I limited automation cores to 200 here. Apparently, oh, I did limit burner inserters as well. The only one I didn't limit was the cargo rocket sections. So some of the intermediate products are frozen, but it's only because the entire block is completely saturated with cargo rocket sections. Um, so I guess that's fine. This one's not quite there yet. But yeah, I think, uh... As long as the liquid rocket fuel can keep up... Which it looks like it... Well, I was gonna say it looks like it can, but this one hasn't been launching very often, I think. I could be wrong. Um... I think, considering, I think we're very willing to trade cargo rocket sections for more vulcanite at this point. Uh, and because our block down here, wait a sec, uh, that's the other thing, I would have to make a new block for processing just vulcanite by itself. Adam wanna. Why don't we just make a more permanent solution? I'll head over... How's our power? It's kind of tight. No, it's not that tight. 
how many drills do we have? We already have nine. We're getting a bit deep into diminishing returns here. Um, we're getting 3.274 fragments per second already. It's a solar planet, ain't it? Just deliver more power. Yeah, I can deliver more power, but I'm going to have to deliver lots more power um, to make it worth adding some more drills. But considering how much depends on Vulcanite, I think that's probably the way to go. I also have to go and get the Vulcanite drills connected. I don't suppose there's a supply rocket headed over there soon. Nope. Uh, do we have solar panels I haven't placed? Nope. So... I guess... Fill this up with solar panels. And we'll go place some drills as well. Uh, how, mu how much have we got already? We have 5.3k solar panels for a peak of 603 megawatts. I dare say we could fit a couple more drills without any more power, based on how quickly we're reaching uh, maximum accumulator charge. I don't know why this is flat up the top here for like several seconds before the solar panel output drops like that. It's kind of weird. There's an entire chest of flat solar panels in orbit. Indeed there are. Um... But yeah, like, we're already up to... 3 to the power of 2 mining drills. Uh, this is the equivalent of the first mining drill times 3. We need to go up to 16 if we want another third of what we've already got. Um, so like, to get almost 40 core fragments, we need to add another 7, which almost doubles uh, what is it? 9 times 25. We're currently using 225 megawatts. Uh, we would need 400 megawatts. Just for the drills. And that would just give us another third. But, on the other hand, another third would be nothing to scoff at. Also, that's another third before productivity bonuses. Well, I guess that multiplies out the same way regardless, right? Stefan, aka Woody, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. They are charging the accumulators, indeed. Do you only have one Vulcanite planet in system? I believe so. I think that's normal for the first solar system, right? I thought, I thought you always get just one. But maybe not necessarily. Why do we have no... Are we no-pathing? We are no-pathing. Why are we no-pathing? Because there's like two pieces of rail... One piece of rail missing over here. Fantastic. And probably the same thing on uh, this side. What about down here? And over here. I also copy-pasted this unnecessary bit of rail. There we go. Fantastic. Now 
I can actually get the Irid uh, Iridium throughput. Let's have a look back at that other block where I did indeed fix the cycling issue. Very cool. So we don't have uh, dirty water blocking. Well, this one's taking a bit longer to recover, actually. Wait. This is faster now, and this is slower now. Dirty water should be getting deleted even quicker. I guess it was more backed up than I realized. Even so, it's a working. Um, we could probably get rid of this now. Actually, let me go over there. Did that CME hit yesterday? I think it's today. Uh, I missed it. When was it? Umbrella. It was 51 minutes ago. Why are there like two spikes here? Of power consumption. That's kind of scary actually. That's actually really scary. I don't know why it behaved like that. It's connected to the main power network and it's connected to uh, the steam backup. So I don't know what happened there. Anyway, the next one is headed for Nalvis. Don't care. It's also over a day away. We've also got a steam battery on Nalvis. Now then. Two spikes probably meant the umbrella was prioritizing solar over steam because renewable. Is now we're still well it, it wouldn't cause it to like stutter though. Is now we're still using are we still using Nalvis for something? Sort of. Um every time I check on Nalvis there's problems with the trains over here. Uh, I need to, like, I think we already did redesign this, uh, storage system for infinite resources. But there's always problems with it somehow. This guy is failing to drop off because... Because why? Because there's a train here? So it's actually picking up. Yeah, no, this is that flawed design where we check if there's a train. And if there is a train, we don't push it forward. But if multiple trains come one after the other, that causes a problem. Um, Alright, raw rare materials. Uh, why don't we just get rid of that circuit logic and set the... Provide stack threshold higher. I think that's better. Uh, but yeah, eventually all of our trains, or almost all of our trains, end up getting stuck. Waiting for one station or the other. And our core fragment processing stops. Uh, in this case, because they actually finished processing it all, because the trains didn't bring any more core fragments. Uh, but yeah, we've been getting a trickle of resources cannoned to Hagen from Nalvis. Um, and we can actually theoretically fill this rocket up with stuff as well. But because the system keeps breaking, we keep not having resources resupplied. And frankly, I don't want to give it my attention. Here's Mike. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
Um, okay. What's this? Old iron plate. And old iron mine. That we're still trying to get rid of. How about I bump up the priority on pickup for this one? As our new build, it is lacking vulcanite blocks because, of course, it is. All right, let's go. Let's go get that one third more vulcanite sent our way. It'll also give us more pyreflux. I mean, directly as well as the pyreflux that we make from vulcanite blocks. Since so much depends on vulcanite. I clean out my inventory, please? Uh, so we want to take solar panels. How easy would it be to put solar panels in the cargo rocket from up here? We've got the cargo rocket that sends back um uh, cargo rocket sections. It doesn't need to launch for about 600 years. I've also got this one that's still sitting there. Maybe we should hijack this. Alright, what are we not taking? I don't think we really need landfill on Granis, considering it's waterless. So let's maybe cancel that. We don't need to take iron, it's constantly getting resupplied. Um, don't really need to take any more... much of anything, really. It's, uh, how many core drills do we have lying around here? We have six. So I'd better take some more of those. Let's do another combi. Drill. Uh, I'm gonna go... I am here. More than enough to go as deep into diminishing returns as we like. Uh, I definitely do want to take accumulators. Wait, how many do we have lying around? 733. Do we really need more accumulators? I don't think so. And if we charge them more quickly... Well, if our power use is going to go up... I wish I could get the area under the graph for how much accumulator charge gets used each night. Three hundred and forty... let's call it three fifty megawatt peak. And divide this by two, it's like, it's less than a minute of 350 megawatt. So... So I think we've probably already got loads of accumulators. Maybe send all the scrap down as well, along with solar panels? What do you mean by scrap? Oh, you mean from orbit? We'll get to that. We're not going to run out of storage space before we get the space elevator, so we'll just send it down by train. So we can get the prod bonus. Riyari, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. 
Do the planets in SE have different day-night ratios? Yes, they do. Some of them have ridiculously short day-night cycles, like Cranus, for example, uh, which is less than two minutes. So the nights are very short. But then they come every less than two minutes. Uh, why do we have so many cargo rocket sections here? We have 8.7 thousand? Okay. Aren't we packing them? We are. How did I set this up? Request cargo rocket sections. If we've got more than 10 available, pack them. Uh, stop packing if we get to 96. I don't really see the point of that. Necessarily. I, hmm. I guess I could deliver cargo rocket sections back here for storage and like stop producing them once we've got X amount. We've probably literally got all of the cargo rocket sections we're ever going to need considering we're working towards not using them anymore. Um, Alright, this is already using a bot drop-off system, so I can just change the settings here. I'll have to do encoded network IDs, so we don't run them around in a circle. Where's the other one? And encoded network ID 1. Uh, and we're going to request cargo, rocket sections, just all of them, I guess. Uh, I, I think I waited too long for this, but we're going to have to have lots of storage added down here. So... I don't know, 2,000 or something. And then head over here, give me some storage chests. Here we go. And I'm going to put a bunch of storage chests for cargo rocket sections right next to the packing. How many is this? 48 times 18. Uh, that's less than a thousand. Right. 72 times 48, 3.5k almost. Cargo rocket section. That should be all of them. Um, and we want to put the limits on this. How many, how many are here right now? Cargo rocket section, 685. Alright. Let's stop at 500. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and then I don't know why. Oh, hold on. What's the encoded network ID over here? It's two. So I need to 
flip these around, I think. Unless this one's going to pick up cargo rocket sections. How did that happen? This thing has never worked quite right. Um, Alright, so it is trying to deliver to here, but it's a little stuck. I'll try fixing that first. Let's copy all this over to here. Fantastic. So we should have the limits now on making the cargo rocket sections. Hey Glacier Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Are you requesting unpack sections and providing packed? No need for encoded IDs? Uh, good point. Thank you. Uh, and that'll actually also uh, set things up so that the short train from the mall will be able to pick them up. But the part that's busted at the mall is long trains picking up things that we've got way too many of. And I'm still not sure how this is happening. Let's review. We use the robot network to tell it what's available. We have a provide stack threshold of 200. Uh, that's five cargo wagons. High priority pickup. Train length has to be double. We The train arrives, we set requests. It gets belted straight in here. And then it immediately goes back to the robot network. Anything that's left behind. And these belts stop if if there's a train here these three belts stop and once it leaves they're active again so how the hell did that one um uh single cylinder engine get stuck in the train when it changed resources is the jetpack new it's part of space exploration Arkale, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Must be if there's back-to-back -back trains. Uh, I would imagine they'd have to get in pretty quick. Yeah, I don't know. Well, if this is blocked and the cargo wagon here is full, then I guess a single-cylinder engine could be stuck here. I think I understand. The assumption is... The assumption that may have got it mixed up is that this is never blocked. Um, or, or like the active provider chest has a functionally infinite storage, but we've seen the bots unable to keep up in this place before. So maybe the active provider chest was full. Single cylinder engines are trying to go up here. It's blocked. Uh, there's still single cylinder engines in this chest, and a train arrives looking for something else. I think that might be it. Um, so if the bots can keep up, that's never going to happen, I think. Just like a station timeout that wasn't unloaded completely, if it's enabled. Uh, Maze, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. But yeah, we're seeing, like, this, the tr by the time the train has left, there's nothing left here. That was with a stack size of one, but still. I should probably set a train limit of one here. We did. What the hell? How are the trains arriving so quickly? There's like three of them in motion for this station. Uh, what? I, I don't think train limit one means what you think it means, LTN.
Oh yeah, and onload timeout is disabled. Uh, that's one of the default LTN settings that I, in my opinion, it's a trap. Um, strongest advice I can give for learning LTN is go into the settings. Because there's a bunch of stuff there which will absolutely trick you. Uh, like, it'll, it'll cause problems and you won't know why if you didn't look at those settings. A bigger active should fix it. Yeah, I was thinking of putting three actives here. Or I could put the active closer to storage. Um, but the bots have kind of caught up with everything. Uh, also, since I moved all this stuff, and I moved an active provider chest here, and just had it use this active provider chest, um, the bots don't have to fly as far, so they're able to keep up with a lot more now. We still have 8k cargo rocket sections lying around in here. Uh, how many are we trying to make on the spot? We shouldn't be making any at this point. I turned it off. Okay, cool. Let's just empty this one. And we're never using these again. They're just going to confuse me. Let's get rid of that. We're not using the prerequisite system either. I think that should still work. There may be many trains for this station if LTN considered the stuck train as lost. Yeah, that's one of the default settings that I recommend changing. I've set that as high as possible. Um, which is only like, well, let's see. Settings, mod settings, LTN... Uh, I think this is the absolute highest you can set it. 36,000 seconds. Which is like 10 hours, I believe. So unless this train was sitting here for 10 hours, um... Which is possible, I guess. But we're constantly seeing three trains involved. Like one in motion, one going back to depot, and one on its way here even though I set the train limit to 1. So, I don't know. It's... We're, we're, we're really close to the depot, and these trains have high acceleration as well. Alright. How about... That's uh, three cargo wagons plus of storage. Should be enough to prevent this from happening again, we hope. While we're at it, why don't I put these right next to storage? That'll give the bots the shortest possible travel time. Alternatively, I could normalize. Like, only allow one stack of stuff to be put in this chest at once. It would slow the loading, but massively reduce the chances of that problem. If a train leaves, it's still on the station as active, but LTN should only be scheduling one to pick up at a time. Yeah. This is quite slow now. Or if we go for, like, up to ten stacks. That seems fine. Nope. Never mind. We've still got 117,000 single-cylinder engines lying around since that one mistake. Alright, so over here, 
We got 1.5k over here. We got 1.9k cargo rocket sections. I think we're good. I, I think we've got enough cargo rocket sections to get us through the winter. Hello, we're not bottlenecked on Astro? What are we bottlenecked on? Energy science? Energy science. Fascinating. Uh, I don't think we're that far ahead on Astro, though. Wait, let's look in the chest. We've got 176 Astro Science in here. Alright, we need to do something about Energy Science now. How's our power? Okay. Uh, where's our bottleneck? Probably the cards. I think it's always electromagnetic field data, actually. They're all ne negative. Uh, we've still got 20 speed modules. Is our power network going to collapse if I put speed modules in all of these? Let's find out. Uh, so two electromagnetic facilities. A radiation facility. And a laser facility. Where is it? So now we are theoretically only just net positive on all these data cards. Huh. That's not what I was expecting. Well, radiation data is already saturated, but that's probably because um, yeah, all three of these are saturated because this one's been slower all this time. We're stuck on ion stream. That's going to cost a ton of power to speed up. But we kind of do have a ton of power. Um... Alright, let's find... Let, let's see just how bad this could be. Do we still have... I think we have literally four... Um, speed 3s remaining. But we'll probably not want to use all of them, as it turns out. Let's see what kind of disaster this will be for our power. Uh, nowhere near as much as I thought, because we're bottlenecked on Plasma Stream, actually. Okay, well, forget the speed modules in that one for now. Let's just go double efficiency. Uh, and what's our rate? 4 out of 10. We need to drastically speed up the Plasma Stream. And all of the other inputs seem totally fine. Alright, so this is called a plasma generator. How much of a disaster would it be if this was fast? We're about to find out. Not as bad as I expected. We've also got a bunch of flat solar panels we can put down. I just remembered. Uh, let's do that in the laziest fashion possible. Cool. Alright, so what's our rate looking like now? We are... Huh? Oh, this thing consumes plasma stream as well? Well, I was trying to look at these two. 
8.6 out of 10 for Plasma Stream. We've more than doubled it. Like, the, it's this is still the bottleneck, and we've more than doubled our speed. Is that actually going to be enough to keep up with this thing? Well, not with the four speed modules, probably. Uh, even if this was full speed, it would not keep up with this. So I should probably just put some efficiencies in that, but if we've got enough power, who cares? Space base looking good? Space base is looking completely spaghetti, which was the idea. Literally build the minimum to get us to a couple of milestones of research, so we can build a much more organized base, uh, sort of from the start. Uh, for, for certain values of from the start. Heck yeah, indeed. How much harder is Crastorio and SE combined uh, compared to just SE? It's a little hard for me to answer that because SE updating to 0.6 definitely made things harder. And my last playthrough was 0.5. But that said, um, I would estimate it is a significant increase in... I don't want to say difficulty. There's more things that are a nuisance, like... Having to get multiple planets going before you get proper robot networks. Um, but yeah, it's... I don't know, it, it honestly would take a whole playthrough to compare them properly. That's just standard SE2 now? Yeah, there you go. Uh, but I mean, Crestorio 2, for example, makes it take way too long to handcraft an inserter. It's not cool. Like, it doesn't really... I don't think it really adds much in terms of, like, challenge or something. It's just more production steps. Do we really have that much iron that this is never getting picked up? I guess so. General consensus I've heard is K2 equals harder start but easier endgame. I could believe that, given some of the toys that I've seen from Crestorio 2. Like the huge roboports, uh, laser artillery. Um, the fact that nuclear power is so much easier with the ratios. Like, you're, ne you're never gonna... I mean, you could find a way, I guess. But compared to vanilla, you're never gonna have a problem with, like, heat pipe. Not being able to get heat all the way... To to the end of the line uh, after you do a perfect ratio for nuclear plants. It also takes way fewer heat exchanges uh, and heat pipe in the first place. Well, that's kind of why. TD, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Captain Tree, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Spellvader looks like it's finally coming along. Yeah, little by little. Um, right, are we done emptying this? We are. So we got a bunch of rail, a bunch of steel undergrounds, a bunch of power things, a bunch of iron. I guess it doesn't hurt to take all this. Steel, copper, ammo. Um... Is there anything else I should take over there? Uh, I suppose it's possible that... We won't be able to keep up with liquid rocket fuel and I'll have to add some other stuff. But if we're bringing copious iron and copper and stuff anyway... We can probably get it done. I'd love to put flat solar panels in here, but that that just means another rocket. I'm I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the flat solar panels in this rocket. And we may as well spam lots of them. Flat solar panel. Is there anything other than flat solar panels that I want to take from this orbit? 
to Granus. I doubt it. I definitely have my doubts. There, why are there cliff explosives here? Let's send the cliff explosives. Actually, aren't there literally no cliffs on this planet? Nope, that's not true. Alright. Uh, cliffies. Anything else? just isn't useful up here, for example. Don't think so. Take the scrap. <laughs> nah, I think we're good. How fast can we make the flat solars here? Also, let's check on our power, because I just caused some more power usage. That's a surprisingly good fit. Okay, that's a bit better. Uh, rate calc. Flat solar panel. 1.3 per second. That's not that much. We've only saved up one chest full of it. Uh, I would have put a lot of solar panels here, but... I didn't set this to logistic mode yet. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, and now they are going in there. Which is not quite what we want right this second. Okay. So we're only going to get like uh, about a thousand flat solar panels. So maybe I should send some regular ones. After all, we've got 7.1k here. See, uh, see if that can even fit. Don't think it can. How's our iridium? Uh, it's still waiting on Vulcanite. Hmm. I might just hijack some Vulcanite to get that started. I don't think it consumes Vulcanite that quickly. There we go. And then up to our new build. Vulcanite. There we go. So how much, how fast is this? 0.4 Vulcanite blocks per second. Yeah, I think this is the right thing to do. That's going to probably not run out until we maybe get our Vulcanite situation totally saturated. Alright. Did we end up putting the better Roboports in here? We did. Okay. Let's see how Nalvis is doing. Hey, we don't have a million trains queued up around here. Core fragment processing is working. 
which means we should eventually, and I do mean eventually, get everything saturated over here again. Cool. Uh, let's see. Holmium cable was saturated like two seconds after we built it. The inputs are probably saturated by now as well. Nope. We're currently picking up Holmium plate. Uh, how did this happen? No, seriously, how did this happen? What the hell? How did Holmium powder... Which gets made here, and goes straight into this belt, comes up here get put into this cargo wagon. That will forever be a mystery. Seems like we've got infinite plate, practically. So it's literally just that train having trouble. Fantastic. Glad I checked on that. How's our ice doing? Very, very good. How's our rocket doing? Uh, what? Oh, we already did put 7,000 solar panels in here? Okay. Uh, we've got 63 stacks remaining. Uh, if I can't think of anything else... Let's just go accumulators. Cool. Back to the mall. There go our butts. There goes our loading. Hmm. I just realized. Because belts contain like eight items. Uh, unfortunately it wouldn't be easy to fit here. Maybe if it snaked around somewhere. But like, instead of five stack inserters to input extra stuff if... how is this overfilled? There's extra bots in there, I know how that happened. Going to a new planet again? Nah, we're gonna go to Granis and spam lots more solar panels so we can spam more core fragments. Because a lot is dependent on Vulcanite. And I could send regular Vulcanite back, but then I'd have to build another block for processing it, and I don't feel like it. Uh, but yeah, that's our rocket. Let's go to Granis. Uh, Granis Mall. Make sure there's room. Oh, it just received a rocket? Okay. I'm gonna put this on launch trigger... Cargo full, and I need to remember to change that back as soon as we launch. So it'll automatically detect by magic if the cargo landing pad at Granis is empty. Just mind every core seam, that would get exponentially less power efficient as we go. Uh, Johan Anderson, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So, I don't know how many core seams. I think we can find out. Actually, no. Is it entity, core, fragment? Would that work? Uh, I think it does. Yeah. Okay, so there's 24. Wait, really? 
There's only 24 on the whole planet. Uh, we've already got 9, and I'm actually taking enough drills to oversupply the core mining drills. Uh, I should be taking... If there's 5 drills left there already, this is the right amount. There's six. Okay, there's one spare. It, it can stay. Only, indeed. But yeah, um, that's that's not as many as I was expecting. Twenty-four core mining drills. So um, that's just under the equivalent of five core mining drills compared to the first one that we place. I thought, I thought there would be like a hundred core seams if we looked at the entire planet. The output of core miners now is pretty solid. Nice, nice. And uh, Akhail, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I thought it was a joke, but... Um, literally... Oh god, I'm going to have to build so much rail. Well, it's happening. Let's set that back to manual launch, and uh, I'll just set this to not need too much liquid rocket fuel until we decide on a location. Um, but yeah, I, I thought it would be like much deeper into diminishing returns if we literally get every core seam. Well, I kind of hate this because um, because that means we need even more space taken up by our outposts if we want to make the most of it. But in the long run, I'm going to have a bunch of smaller outposts, like uh, approximately nine, uh, probably nine core, uh, core seams, and then we'll trim the surface so it doesn't take up so much space for the saved game. Uh, probably good for UPS as well. Uh, but as long as we've only got access to one, um, one Vulcanite planet, if, uh, if it stops at 24 core seams, then yes, it might be a good idea to actually get every single one of them. Uh, which unfortunately means bringing rail out to every single one of them. Alright, let's get our... Uh, Highway block, and probably put this here, and uh, what's the difference between these two? Nothing? I thought I had one where I removed the... Is this just a copy? 86420, 86420, looks like it. I see you've re rearranged them all, looks a lot better. Yep. Uh, we moved the delivery cannons, well, the anti asteroid, uh, the anti media ammo delivery cannons, uh, to where we load the construction train. So we got an, a lot of space left over here now. Uh, I could go ahead and make all of this concrete as well. I can certainly afford that these days. There we go. Um, and yeah, I added a frame that's just for repairing and deconstructing as opposed to the construction train that's always full. Stefan, aka Woody, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Calculator for 24-9, need coffee? 24-9? 24-9, yeah, always. Uh, let's copy paste since it'll have all the settings. Where am I? do it like this. 
If I fit this here, it doesn't fit anyway. But if I did fit that there, we wouldn't have room to do a belt control. We still don't. Let's move it up one. I hope we'll be able to do it like this. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Just this once, I'll do the off-ramp. Well, actually, I can curve this around. No, I can't. Gross. Alright, how about this? Am I out of rail? Let's park you uh, here for the moment. Cat, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Veldak. Sifa, how's your stream? Factorio, of course. Here comes our construction train. It was good. Progress as always. Fantastic. What are those bots doing? That is a very random segment of rail to start with. I assume a chunk starts here. Yep. But that one seems to be on the other chunk. So I guess it's not chunk related after all. Uh, construction train doesn't seem to have cliff explosives. Let's give it a hand. By cow. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did you set the wagon to have logistics while moving? Uh, no. I think it's off by default. And I don't really want it enabled usually. Unless I'm driving it manually, because I want to Wallace and Gromit the track out. Oops. Uh, that's actually good. The train can automatically get back home this way. Because I'm driving on the wrong side. Mojo D. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's a lurk cat train. Perfect. Did you put batteries and solar panel or Tesla in the wagon? Tesla. The RoboPorts have copious batteries built into them. Yeah, so this is exactly the use case of enable logistics while moving, but um, if I'm just like remote controlling it, I don't think I would ever want that Hello Raiders, indeed. Glacier Wolf. Welcome, welcome. Um, can we fit... Yeah, we can. That's why we moved it up. So we want Accumulator. Uh, please tell me I have Accumulator. There we go. And charge has to be greater than 80%. Must be night time. It is night time. Uh, let's do some signals here. Can't actually. I guess I can. This is probably not strictly necessary. Because this will see so little traffic. But that's fine. Should probably keep going over this way. 
with our highway blueprint. Didn't actually just put rail up here, did I? Nope. Space elevator research continues to crawl by. Are we still short on energy science packs? Feels weird after being bottlenecked on the Astro for so long. Yeah, Astro's saturated. Wow. So we've actually got 200 Astro just waiting to be consumed over here. Uh, I guess we could share significant data? I don't really want to do that again. On the other hand, we're making so much over here. Uh... Okay, how could I... If I put seek data like so, but we only output if this part is saturated, so significant data, I think I've typed in sing data, equal to four, half a belt. Wait, why is that red? Seek data here should... Oh, read contents. There we go. Uh, so that's green. Fantastic. So only if material sciences seek data is saturated, we're going to output it to uh, the robot network. Let's do something similar down here, although I don't... It looks like it's going to take a very long time to get there. Um, we'll do exactly the same thing. I've heard that the space elevator is OP, but why is that? Because uh, it's awesome? Doesn't it cost very little material for what it does. I mean, in terms of upkeep. Boot Fighter, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Put only one SIG data into network. Yeah, I might do that. Um, but it's all going to get consumed rather quickly at this point. Do we have request a chest for SIG data here? We do. Here. We do. And here we do. Cool. So one, two, and three. Um, oh, this actually just puts everything straight into the robot network. I guess that works, kind of. I also, I also want it to at least 50% put the SIG data straight in here. Oh, I know what I could do. Um, I think... I think I would need a filter, just to be safe. And we'll check for SIG data here. If there's no SIG data in this chest... Wait, no, if there is SIG data... No. Uh, I've got a made, made this difficult with the shape of this, but I guess considering considering the shape of everything right now, um, 
Uh, considering that energy science is the bottleneck, this is fine. I mean, the whole point of this build is to burrow straight to space elevator. So that we can build the equivalent of this in rail blocks without cargo rockets everywhere. Alright, so it's that 68%. Uh, looks like our bots are having issues. There we go. We're also out of rail. Let's turn off logistics while moving and head back for resupply. Okay. It really is going to take a minute to get all of these core seams tapped. How's our power so far? We're still getting our accumulators full relatively early in the day. I don't think one 25 megawatt drill is going to make that much of a difference to that. We should hurry up, hurry up and get back there and finish the rail so that... Oh wait, yeah, the train should already be able to get there. I mean, I can check by pathing it. Seems good. Alright, I'm going to take a little break here. Uh, let's do some LTN screensaver. And we'll throw up some words on stream in a minute. You're doing great job, big brain. Thank you so much, Veldak. And for the 13 months as well. Thank you very, very much. Much appreciated. Um, and here comes your favorite thing about the stream. Words on stream. Uh, but seriously, thank you so much. Are your rockets going to cope with the output of 24 drills? We're going to find out. We've got a million trillion cargo rocket sections that we can send over here. The question is, will liquid liquid rocket fuel on this planet keep up? And we'll see. It'll keep up for a while, because there's a bunch of it stored. Alright, so... We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
All right, let's continue, shall we? Where am I? Uh, thank you, thank you, Peltak. All right, uh, drills can go here. And what are we requesting in the train? One drill, everything we need to build a drill outpost. Uh, seems pretty good, honestly. Except I should carry more rail. Alright, let's head over this way. And how's our research? 70%. That's about what I guess I should have expected. About 2% after a short break. How's our production of energy science been lately? Compared to before. Uh, okay, that's a spike. But we don't have enough information. It looks like... It looks like that's the peak from before. Like, seven per minute. No? What, what is this graph? If this is 1.5... Oh, that include, that's all the area under the graph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Too soon to say. Let's see. Where are we? We are right on schedule. Let's turn this thing back to logistics while moving. And come to think of it, uh, that needs to be a chain signal, so does that, and so does that. that's already correct. Alright, where are we going? Just over here. Highway, whoops. Um, are we going any further? We are not. Let's just do a loopy loop. Something like that. Alternatively, I could save a whole lot of rail. By doing this. What's the point of double-headed trains if we don't do things like that? Alright. We need some power up here. guys need some room in your inventory, as do I. This is a problem. Give me the stone and coal. There we go. Have some rail back. Let's get our station right about here. Let's double check that has our settings. It does. Uh, cannon, belt, accumulator, and go.
Accumulated charge greater than 80%. And that should be it. Get out of my inventory. There we go. Alright, we are going to need a signal down this way. And trains should already be able to path here. Just double check. Yep, seems good. And then we've got one way up here. Uh, should I resupply first? Uh, it's fine. I mean, yeah, it's fine. Let's put a corner here. Not going to need most of this. Nice and neat. Uh, I guess we don't strictly need these. Anyway. Uh, let's get ourselves some more highway. Goes up there. I don't want to paste that over the top of that again. Is that gonna be okay? And another big drill. Save that T rail junction. Yeah, we should. Uh, let's let's make it properly. Right. Don't need this. Don't need this. Don't really need this. That's one way to do it. Do we really need a roundabout at a T junction? Left, straight, straight, right. Uh, right, left. I, th I think no. I think uh, we can just subtract from what we've already got, and it should fit perfectly. Most of that is looking pretty sensible, except maybe we should do this. Uh, and what are these curves? There's no reason to curve up and down this way. Uh, this is obviously needed. That seems fine. And... I don't care if they can go both ways through this part. There's a couple of extra signals that we probably don't need. Is that symmetrical? Noxyway Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I need the coordinates from this blueprint, 86420, except maybe we can offset it, well let's do it in a way that we know works first, 86420, snap to grid absolute, 
T intersection. That seems not great, actually. Because it depend. Uh, this one actually depends on which way it's facing. Uh, so we need the one offset, I think. And this probably has to be like 43. Based on experience with the other blueprints. Yeah, there we go. Now, is it possible to have this blueprint except I don't have to point at a different corner of the map and where I'm actually using it? Let's save this one first. Um, I'm going to create a copy. And... Can I just... I'm pretty sure if I move this to the middle, it's not going to work out the way I want it to. Yeah, it's just in the wrong place. Train from top cannot go left. I think it can, though. Never mind, it's two-way. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, T-Hacks, I had a funny accident earlier. That doesn't sound funny. I made a new outpost. I was watching the train on map view to see if it makes it there. It did make it. I knew by flashing red it as it was running me over. Oh, no. I should have seen this coming, talking about accidents and trains. Well, at least you know it works. So that's cool. Let's go back up here, delete all of this, and grab our T intersection. If I can figure out how to place it. Fantastic. Highway would go through it, and I don't want that. But I do want this power pole to be in exactly the same spot because I am stupidly obsessive. There we go. Cool. I haven't died in 500 hours. Respawning works too. Uh, okay, so... Are there any more drill spots up here? There are not. So I think we might just have a single bit of rail find its way over here again. Could I maybe even copy-paste this? I, th I, I doubt if the... Uh, I'm pretty sure the coal mining thingamajigs don't snap to the same grid as rail, so this might be one-off. E yeah, it's one-off. Ravna. That's fine. Except this is in slightly the wrong place. Uh, Barbly, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That looks pretty good to me. Um, and I might just drag this one up to connect like so. All right, let's get our train up there. Add the longer straights to the blueprint. That might not be the worst idea. Feeling a bit lazy at the moment, though. What other blueprints do I want to add? I don't know. We arrive. We build. We pick up rocks for no reason, because I forgot to mark them for not deconstruction. Uh, let me get in the front so that forward is forward. 
Uh, let me also make sure this is enabled. Fantastic. I'll take that stone. Uh, I went to the wrong side, but that's fine. We're going to need some power poles. I can't believe we're going to build every single core mining drill on this planet. Still, it's a bit different from the last version, the way that works. Oh, that looks good to me. We need some signals, though. In and out. And... I'll just drive the train up here to confirm it can get back. And it can path back there again. Fantastic. Where are we going next? Over here, I think. We've still got plenty of stuff. So let's head over here. And realize that we're muted. Fantastic. Um, that can go here, that can go here. And you can go down south. This will do. Probably need to go back for a core drill now, though. Not to mention an accumulator. Whoops, probably should have thought of that. How much more rail do I have? A bit. Alright. That's about as far as we want to go. Uh, it's still moving. Could you come over here, please? And 
I'll figure out these signals. That's yeah, probably fine. There's not going to be that much traffic in any one place. Renners, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm sure you get asked this a lot, but why load slash unload in a space cannon chest? Uh, it's a 3x3 three three chest, and it's the only one we have. The delivery cannon... Uh, sorry, the bulk rail loaders and unloaders. If you put a chest, uh, a container of some kind, on the corners like this, they'll automatically load or unload from those containers or into them. Uh, and this is just a nice little symmetrical balancer deal. That's all. Uh, but yeah, in short, it's the only 3x3 three three chest we have. Just manually drive this. Because there's no middle tile for a splitter, it's going to look wonky if we use one of those instead. Never used them. Bulk loaders myself. Maybe we'll check them out. Yeah, it's a good mod. I like it. Andy Gaming. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back. Um, I've actually got two drills down here. Let's just figure out this one first. Maybe like that. That's actually a perfect fit. Uh, I should be able to copy this again, more or less. Oh, I can just see the rail on the edge. Does that line up? One off. Cool. Except we don't need this straight rail here. Get out of here. There's our highway blueprint. There we go. And once again... Down we go. Up we go. I'll have to send the construction train back here. Uh, with the drills and stuff. But we can get the rail done. I'm good, just need to sort out advanced tech cards. One of those PITA projects, indeed. Also one way up north, really. Oh, so there is. Alright. I am making the trains co cover a little bit more distance than they should have to, but because of the way they accelerate, uh, it's going to make so little difference as to be imperceptible. I might add another cargo wagon train before we leave. I only see one of them idle at the moment, and it's moving. We don't have cargo wagons. We do. Loco. We have spare trains just lying around. Um, they'd be a little bit of a pain to set up remotely, though. So I'll just grab those personally. Wait, that's what this is for. Fantastic. 
Uh, where is our train blueprint? There it is. Cool. And again... I also have some in my inventory, I believe. There goes some more fragments back to Hagen. And why not one more, just to be safe? Whoops. Okay. Pleased to be taking my stone. And it looks like this one's already empty. Fantastic. What are we still trying to load? Regular rail signals. Um, that's actually something that we're going to use a lot with these straight rails. Chain signal. Request a chest. Oh, those were only two tiles apart. Storage chest, or rather passive. And go. Actually, save null. No. Okay. It's actually already plenty of regular signals here. Oh, rather, chain signals. I kind of think of chain signals as regular signals these days. And this one, less than 100. What are we working on today? We are researching Space Elevator. And at the moment, uh, partly to kill time, but partly because this is the only place to get Core Fragment uh, Vulcanite in the solar system, we are actually probably going to put the maximum number of core mining drills down on this planet. Which is uh, 24, I believe. It's going to give us just under the equivalent of five times the first core mining drill. So we're, we're covering the entire planet in these drills to go from like 29 uh four fragments per second to about 40 but there's a lot that's dependent on vulcanite at this stage and i do mean a lot fantastic do we have um what's the word i'm looking for how many loaders do we have? Looks like we have that automated. Oh, we have an auto crafter here. We've got the semi-automatic kind of auto crafter. That's fine. Um, but I think I should probably load uh, a few more of these at a time. There we go. Uh, and I should probably carry some extra rail. There we go. Alright, train, get yourself up. Well, let, let's just go here first. On second thought, park yourself not where the bulk loaders are. Wait for inactivity. That's not what I meant to do. How do coal miners work? Still diminishing returns, yes. Nature, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What are these bots doing? Oh, they're still catching up after picking up a bunch of crap. Uh, stop, 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 stop.
formula was y times y, 1 times 1, 2 times 2. Yeah, 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared to get the equivalent of the first drill times 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Vulcanite ore patches look like spicy Cheeto dust. <laughs> I suppose so. Uh, why don't we have this load multiple... Constant combinators as well. Next time. How many more bots do we have drifting back? Looks like this is it. Hope. Come on, bots. You got this. And go. Alright, I'm just going to send this train to park here for a few seconds. And once it's on its way back, I'll move it. Wait, can I, can I pass it here as well? Yeah, we can. Wait for inactivity. Uh, and that should get both of those core drills active. Robot Wars, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What were you trying to paste? Also, this that's pinned in the Arendelle's Discord lets you calculate it easily. Fair enough. Emma, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is this working now? It is. Once the accumulator charge works. Uh, adds up. Once the accumulator accumulates, that is. Oh, there's another one down here. Let's do this one first. The dread of these bots carrying stone and trees are stopping me from building my construction train, indeed. Did the train already leave? Uh, yep. Nope, that's the different one. Here it, here it is. I thought that was a bit quick. Alright, uh, let's get a highway as close to this one as possible. That looks decent? Question mark? And where's our train? Here we go. Gonna place that drill there, buddy? This is why I have to set them to, like, 15 seconds of inactivity. Ah, uh, I didn't tell it to carry more accumulators. This drill's gonna run indefinitely. Until I fix it. Alright. Could you please park yourself here instead? And we go back here. Michelle, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's get a T down this way. And up here. And let's put this on manual. Thanks, Veldak. Want to share a link? A uh, Desmos graph that lets you put in mining time, mining prod, and planet diameter to calculate core mining production. Nice. Very good. Desmos is very handy. I wish we had that in school when I had to learn that stuff. Whoops. Can't believe I'm covering the entire planet in rail.
very elegant looking T junction. Thank you. Uh, it's not exactly optimized for throughput. Um, I'm not using these things except for out in the sticks because this is two way. Although, I guess, I don't know if it would actually make that much difference, uh, depending... Okay, if you have a train trying to go left here and right here, then it definitely is going to slow them down a lot, compared to not at all. Um, but yeah, for our low traffic um, that we've got, we're just picking up coal mining fragments. Um, coal fragments, it's perfectly fine. Grimmerk, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. We use a different program called GeoGebra, but it's basically the same thing. Nice to have during math exams. Yeah. Uh, yeah, back in my day, we didn't have any, but, and it's terrible. And that's terrible. Bat boy, not so slim. Well, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the bonk, I suppose. JP, good to see you again also. Good evening, sir. Craft landfill with all that stone. Maybe that's a good idea. Uh, I wanted to put our station like this, probably, maybe... Oh, it's backward. Never mind. How about this? Except like this. Oh, that's perfect. Substation over here. We do want to... I, I, I will not summon the train by speaking its name. Never do that. Okay. Gonna need some signals. Fantastic. And I I said too much already, didn't I? Um I don't see a way to find some room in here. Let's just go back, I guess. The bots are gonna have to travel a bit. What's the purpose of the cannon chest? It is a 3x3 three three chest. And you can see from the yellow line indicators here, the uh, bulk rail loaders have invisible inserters that pick up... Um, if you put, I think it only works with the first uh, container that you put near them. I could be wrong. But... This is basically acting sort of like a splitter, although for some reason it doesn't uh, do it perfectly. It's not perfectly balanced, which is why I limit that here. But it's just a very symmetrical, convenient way to get items into both of these bulk rail loaders. I made landfill out of all stone when I did some expanding. Indeed. What left behind at the station? I think I just saw it move out of the corner of my eye. Yep. Because the train just got some space uh, in its cargo wagon. So, luckily the planet isn't that big. They'll find their way back eventually. And how's our power? I haven't actually expanded it yet. Still not bad. Uh, the day before we, yesterday on this planet, we did actually get to maximum accumulator charge. How many flat solars do we have here? Oof. Ouchie. That hurts a bit. I knew there wouldn't be that many by now. But... Wait. Why is this active... Pro oh, no. That active provider didn't get... Oh, no. 
Uh, I should have realized. Stop, 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 stop. You know what? I could just deconstruct the... This part of the station. Temporarily. That might be easier. I was gonna say, um... I didn't expect that many flat solar panels to have been built since I ordered this, but that was worse than expected. Um, but that said... Multi-spectral mirrors. Where are we getting multi-spectral... mirrors from? Here they are. We've got 40 multi-spectral mirrors. They must be in a buffer chest. I think I was just stealing the multi-spectrals from science. Yeah, here they are. That's a passive provider. There's 34 available. And... Oh, I see what I did there. There we go. Okay. As long as it's not slowing science down. But how many flat solar panels did we end up with here? There's 27 on the way. Uh, as much as we've got a million times the cargo rocket sections that we'll ever use, it feels like a waste to send that, but no, it's fine. Uh, let's grab ourselves some solar panels. Uh, I forgot that I would need the substations. Wait, how many do we have? 433? That seems okay, actually. Uh, and give me some solar, and give me some accumulators, and I think I'll just go expand down here. You won't need them if you place all you brought already. Yeah, you might be right. We're gonna find out. I think I'll place all that I brought, we'll place all of the four mining drills, and we'll see how that's going. Uh... And even if it's only, like, a fifth of a rocket, um, we'll send the flat solar panels if we need more. Uh, what am I doing? Here we go. I forgot how many rocks we're going to pick up here. I'm, my inventory's already full. There we go. I do wish the bots would build with as high a priority as they go to pick up rocks and fill my inventory and not be able to do anything. Uh, that'd be good, actually. Alright, do we have another inventory slot? Almost. Three and four. All right, that was the critical mass. I think there's probably a chest lying around here full of stone and stuff. Yep, there is. And copper, glass, and steel as well. I'm a little embarrassed. And a bunch of heat shielding. Let's go dump our crap. There we 
go. And now the bots come back with even more coal and stone. Fantastic. How many solar panels is this? About 5.3... We're going to more than double our solar panels here before we send the flat ones. But we're going to more than double our core drills as well. Not that core drills are everything power-wise over here. I mean, they kind of are now. Now that I look at it. I like how Shift C drops stuff out of my trash slots. That's very helpful. Uh, and I kind of want to take this stuff back, but. Maybe do that a bit later. Okay. Where's that blueprint? is where we just happen to run out of solar panels. Did you place that accumulator at the core drill? I didn't, but I got the construction train to do it. Not this one, though. And what about this one? Nope. Have our bots caught up? Uh, I think so. Alright, let's send you up here. Wait for inactivity. And then after that, come over here. And wait for inactivity. That should get those done. Let's double check all the others have accumulators. Fantastic. That one's old. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Wow, that is... That is a brightness contrast right there. Ooh, 80% on Space Elevator. This is getting exciting. I think we're definitely getting it today. Alright, and I still have some inventory space. Isn't that nice? Why core mining for Vulcanite when there's so much on the surface? Uh, two reasons... Um, I just really prefer the infinite sources and not to have to keep making and moving temporary mines. Uh, and the second is even wanting to do that. Uh, I haven't actually built a block to process Vulcanite itself, and I definitely don't want to build processing on this planet. Um, so I'm kind of just being a bit extra lazy. Uh, but definitely good in the long run. To get Vulcanite going as as fast as possible with infinite source in our solar system. Because a lot depends on Vulcanite. We also get some free uh, Hyroflux, like without even processing the Vulcanite, just from cracking the core fragments down. What are my bots doing? Oh, are my roboports tired? Yep. Alright, let's divert our attention somewhere else then. Uh, check that these are done. Oh, I see. Um, could you move up here? And go back without getting core fragments in your inventory. Fantastic. Now park over here, please. Oh.
Oh, the other thing... I mean, there's a few ways to go about it, but, um... It's kind of convenient that the uh, delivery cannon chest has 40 stacks in it, because that's exactly half a train. Um, so... Once these two containers are full, LTN will schedule a pickup. Uh, and this gives us a buffer of half a train before the train arrives. Maybe I should use my power armor just because I can fit double... Uh, I also get more inventory space, but I can fit double power sources in here. Do we have any more jetpack and thruster suit? I would like that. And let's just go for four robo pods. Seems a good. How much uh, RoboPort range are we going to have? That's good. Too much actually kind of makes the bots less efficient. So I don't mind this. Are you sending the core fragments elsewhere to be processed? Yes. Sorry for questions, not at all, by all means. Uh, but I'm at the Vulcanite stage myself and trying to do everything on the planet. It's painful. Yeah, they really... Uh, the changes from 0.5 to 0.6, they really, really wanted to force people to do a lot of processing on planet, it seems like. And I'm not a fan. Uh, but frankly, if you look at the math for... Okay, depending on how many processing steps you're willing to do, of course it changes. But if you look at, for example, Vulcanite Core Fragments, uh, even without a productivity bonus, Vulcanite stacks to 20. You put one stack of Vulcanite Core Fragments, rather, in the Core Fragment Processing Machine. Uh, it spits out 25 Vulcanite, among other things. Vulcanite only stacks to 20. So it's already... Unless you're going to take several steps uh, of processing on planet, uh, it's already more stack efficient to send it back as Vulcanite core fragments. This does change uh, from one type of core fragment to the next. I think most of them are just better to send, though. As long as we're only talking about one or two uh, manufacturing steps. Uh, but yeah, what I'm going for, almost in spite of uh, the coercive pressures of the game design in 0.6. Uh, but I wanted to do it this way anyway. Is like this outpost right here. This is much bigger than we're going to end up with when we've got spaceships and space elevators. Uh, I'm going to have basically nothing on the planet except for core mining drills and a space elevator. Uh, I think the space elevator can only send down 6 megawatts. That's... Uh... Or is it 6 gigawatts, rather? So that's like... 240 drills, unless my math is horrendously bad. Um, so you probably don't even need a power source on planet itself, but I'll probably want energy beams regardless. Anyway, uh, the point is I'm going to have the absolute minimum on each outpost, and we're just going to have like standardized spaceships pick them up with a dispatch system, like LTN. Six gigawatts, yes. Uranium is horrible? Yeah, I can imagine. It took me more than a day? I made a design that... Wait, what took you more than a day? Uh... Good luck on figuring out the math for Vulcanite processing, indeed. The concept of just mining on the outpost makes logistics fairly easy, so I'm happy to do it. Yeah, you take a hit in terms of 
the efficiency, um, the cost of transferring materials around, but there are a lot of advantages as well. Uh, give me more solar panels, please. There we go. The best thing with space elevators is that the, sh the space ships don't have to land on planets anymore. Yeah, and that that represents a huge saving in fuel. Not to mention, you can have ships with just ion uh, as your workhorses. It, it's hard to overstate how much uh, liquid rocket fuel, or antimatter fuel for that matter, if we're not landing on planets later on, uh, is going to be saved by not having to pay the cost to get out of the gravity well. Or out of the deepest parts of the gravity well, I guess you could say. Trying to go too fast. The best thing... Oh, I already read that, sorry. Uh, but yeah, I've got big plans for a generalized spaceship, or maybe two designs, if we don't want one of them to part around sulfuric acid needlessly. Um, but some generalized spaceships that just don't have a specific route, they're just dispatched to wherever needs a pickup. Just like our cargo wagons with LTM. Alright, let's keep spamming solar. Let me just place this via the map while our bots do their thing. They are very keen to do the deconstruction first. There we go. Let's just double check we got those accumulators. Yes, indeed. Oh. I recon all planets... Reckon all planets have... Atmosphere, since you only need spacesuit in orbit. Yeah. I'm a little surprised that you don't need life support on any of the planets. I, I don't imagine it's a mod limitation. They can probably set that arbitrarily on a per-surface basis. Scale the summit. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I might want to drop off all of this stone and coal. There we go. And more. Uh, not the rocket fuel. There we go. This uh, solar array is getting kind of big. Plague rocket the planet, then see if you can survive it without life support. <laughs> Touché, touché, I never thought of that. So many panels, indeed. We happen to have them spare anyway. Technically, any treeless, treeless planet should require life support. Yeah, probably. Okay, how many more solar panels do we have? Three thousand. Uh, and how many is this? Nine thousand. Okay, so we can increase this by a bit over a third. We're three quarters of the way done if we count what was here before. You do have algae that produces O2. Yes, although I would imagine. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. I would imagine on a planet with algae, you'd have some shrubs and stuff. 
Or maybe not yet. I guess that's... That's further down the evolution timeline, right? Brackfall? Good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Always running out of panels first. I guess we're putting down more panels. That does make sense. The night is very, very short here. Maybe the volcanoes spew out oxygen? Is this oxygen not included? Uh... Oh yeah, we've got like, what, do I, what was it? 52 cycles in oxygen not included before we find out if our volcano taming is set up correctly. And that's a volcano volcano. I was told that it actually only takes like four, three or four steam turbines uh, to consume all of the heat that comes out. Which sounds, sounds like not that much, like sounds like less than I would expect. We'll see. Give me some panels. Give me some panels. Give me some panels. And give me some panels. That's actually all of them, I think. Yep. Alright, we don't have to make any more trips to pick up solar panels. Uh, how about accumulators? That is actually everything. I might take some chests. How about this? Because my inventory is going to get full of stone. Doing good, and you? Yeah, not too bad. On the Vulcanite planet, in Vulcanite description it says usually found on volcanic planets. That would make sense. Um, Alright, let's go. Oh, I didn't go back and get more substations. Alright, let's go get some then. I've gone through like 14 rocket fuels since I've been here. 83% on Spell Evader. Oh. Alright, give me all the substations, please. Actually, why don't I steal these ones as well? The bots should probably sort out the rest. Down we go. Better make sure I cover the ground where substations might be missing. There we go. That's actually pretty easy to find. And let's expand it in this general direction. Thought I was on the navsat. Maybe three at once. Fantastic. What are the bots doing? Oh, my inventory's full. Already. Let's add some chests down here. Sledged. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And call. There we go. Shift C. Renners. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. 
You can handcraft landfill with that stone, super space efficient. This is true. I think we brought enough storage though. I committed to delete old Nalvis orbits so I can build new and better at new orbit. Stopped all the inputs to orbit and I'm letting the base uh, eat as much as it can. Nice. It's a whole process moving, isn't it? I am Sark. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Long time no see, indeed. How are you? Not too bad, thanks. We are doing basically okay. Eighty-four percent on spell evader. Oh, inventory's getting there. How are my bot robopods doing? Pretty well, actually. Yeah, doubling the nuclear reactors was a good idea. And then the whole build goes into chests. Just pack it up. I'm sure many of you have seen that, uh, like, MS Paint comic of... Uh, how one by one chests have more storage space than cargo wagons. Oops. There we go. Is this not powered? Yeah, it's powered. Hey, Tumbling. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The solar panel fields, indeed. How it goes, not too bad. Already delete this exactly base before, but then computer crashed. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Lost some progress, now after restoring, I get to delete the base again. <laughs> yeah, yay. Not sure I remember that meme. Uh, is basically the idea was like the the one by one chests are very very tall actually. Hello, it's Scott Satellite. This time I'm going to ignore liquids. It was painful getting them out. Yeah, I could understand that. Chat gave me that surname, and I find it cute. <laughs> Alright, how's our power look? Really, really good. As expected at this point. Uh, we do have a lot more coal mining drills to add. In fact, let's, let's double check how many. So, Entity... Core Fragment, Vulcanite, uh, there's 24 on the planet, and if we look for Core Mining Drills, we've built 15. So, 9 to go. Fantastic. Can you show the blueprint for the solar field? Uh, sure. It's just 3x3 uh, three three panels, accumulators to fill out the rest, and snap to grid is 20 and 1. Oh, uh, I think someone said maybe the version I'm playing has uh, substations that reach further? I'm not sure. It's... Nine tiles. Not from the substation. Got better substations, yeah. This isn't precisely calculated or anything, it's just... We know this planet doesn't need that many accumulators, and... It fits together. Uh, 
that's it. It didn't work when I tried it, so I made my own. Yep, fair enough. Alright, let's expand this over here. This is a very good reflex, indeed. Uh, I forgot, I'm, I'm already carrying the last of the solar panels, so we may as well finish this, except we, I do want to hold on to at least, what is, like, 10 accumulators? for the rest of the core mining drills that we're going to be building. Let's park ourselves over here and design this. That's looking pretty convenient. There we go. Uh, why don't I steal from this one? And power poles. Seems good. Let's get our construction train to pay that a visit. Uh, wait for passenger present, which isn't going to happen. Alright, looks like I'm going to have loads of accumulators left over. We've got 52 solar panels. This uses 36. Damn it. It's not going to fill out that neatly. Why don't I just leave this beautiful square of solar where it is? I think it's actually going to be more than enough. Um, what do we got? 1.4 gigawatts. And we need 24 times 25 megawatts. 600 megawatts. We've got more than 600 megawatts spare right now. I think that's going to be fine. Thinking... Ow! 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 Thinking this core fragment strategy is better because you remove the need to transport water ice. And therefore reduce cryonite processing. Uh, you, I might be not having to send as much ice. I, the reason I send ice here is so that we can make, um, liquid rocket fuel. And that's the only reason. If we were using, uh, delivery cannons or spaceships, uh, we wouldn't need to send any ice. Although... I probably wouldn't recommend sending core fragments by deliver delivery cannon. I think they used to be stack size 100, and now they're 20. It's a little rough. Um, some other math that I didn't do is... What if on a waterless planet we did this liquid rocket fuel recipe, or chain, where we take water, split it into hydrogen and oxygen, um, make ammonia, and do the ammonia-based solid rocket fuel recipe. I haven't calculated how much water it costs per liquid rocket fuel. Uh, this rate calc is misleading because I've got um, two fuel refineries to do like 1.2 fuel refineries worth of liquid rocket fuel here. Um, so it takes like five hot, 540 water to give us like maybe 30-ish liquid rocket fuel. Let's simplify it uh, and say that 20 water gives us... Uh, we need... it's 20 times, rather. So liquid rocket fuel times 20 is how much water we need. Uh, for this production chain... 
it's a lot harder to calculate because... Well, I don't have prods here for one thing, so that's going to be different. But we need water to make oil. We're doing the light oil recipe because the whole point is light oil for our liquid rocket fuel, uh, solid rocket fuel. 200 solid rocket fuel makes... Sorry, 100 oil makes one solid rocket fuel. The oxygen is free. And the iron is trivial. We get... 70 light oil plus 20 heavy gets cracked into light at a ratio of... 20 heavy becomes 15 light, so we can think of this as just 85 light oil for 50 water. So, like... Um... 1.18 times. So 59 water makes one solid rocket fuel, which makes 50... This is a much better ratio if all we care about is water, uh, and that's before using prod modules. As expected, but it's like 10 times better. Ish, maybe. Maybe call it like 7 or 8 times better. Do you not process the core fragments here? Nope. I want to keep the outpost simple, especially, like, much simpler than this. Uh, once we have uh, space elevators and spaceships. Because I won't have to produce liquid rocket fuel um, to get this stuff off planet once we have that. Why do I have Vulcanite blocks in my inventory? Come to think of it, Vulcanite blocks have no use here. Maybe I should take them back. Uh, let's continue building out... our core fragment our coal miners. Could you please show how far spaceship and elevator on tech train? Uh, sure. Oh no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. There we go. Please move back down here. Turn it onto manual. So it coasts. That didn't coast very far. Oh, it needs cliff explosives. How many do we have on this planet? 35. I think we might get a bit low. Uh, so, space elevator, we're almost done. We've got Astro 1, Energy 1, and Material 2. And all the, these are sort of basic by comparison. That's the extent of our types of research right now. A uh, spaceship requires Astro 3. Uh, it doesn't care about energy or material science. We just need two more tiers of Astro. But then we need Energy 2 just to get ion engines, which are uh, kind of necessary for interstellar travel. One might argue. Research looks stuck. I have my doubts. What are we bottlenecked on? Astro 1? Catalog? Infra infrared? What the hell? Oh, is this full? This is full. Okay. Why isn't that an active provider? Well, there's your problem. There's your problem. I knew I had to deal with junk data eventually, but, um... Didn't realize we'd actually fill these before that research got done. Also, I thought these were active provider chests for some reason. 
I mean, it makes sense to make them active. This one doesn't need to be an active provider. It never outputs junk. Maybe I just copy-pasted from that. Uh, but yeah, elevator, we're currently researching it. There's like a better elevator research later on. Uh, it's actually just a more efficient way to make space elevator cables. That actually requires tier 4 everything. That's a ways off. Doesn't that red science, can't remember the name, need vulcanite? Uh, what's your current source? This planet is our current source. And yes, uh, what's it called? Production science pack? Does require vulcanite. Four vulcanite bl uh, blocks, to be precise. Cable 2 is more expensive? What? The better elevator cables, according to Mike, is a worse recipe. Fascinating. I'll have a look. Uh, I hear rocket ready to launch, which means rocket did launch recently. Very nice. And I have to go rescue construction train. You get 12 per craft. Okay, so three aeroframe pole, one heavy girder, one holmium cable, two coal. I thought it was one for some reason. Um, versus... So this is indeed one elevator cable. This gives you 12 for a superconductive, four nanomaterial, and four aeroframe pole. It's looking a hell of a lot. If we look at aeroframe poles, it's way better. Uh, it looks like it doesn't require any iridium. Unless I'm misremembering what goes into nanomaterial. Superconductive cable, I don't think is that expensive. I'd have to sit down and really look at it. Is research okay? Yeah, we just looked at it. Um, the problem was... I thought these were active provider chests. They were passive. Where we output junk data. And one of them got full. So now it's all in motion again. In fact, we're just about to get our next bit of SIG data. Although, come to think of it, Didn't I set it up so that the other types of research could share SIG data? Yeah, I did. So it was just slow, despite that mistake. Because SIG data from here could find its way down here. To my quick glance, Cable 2 looks a lot better. Yeah. It also depends on, um, like, you might have more or less of specific materials, even in the late game. Give me one drill and all of your stone. There we go. We're down to 25% effective on our drills. All right, you may go, and I think here is the next obvious drill to pick up. Let's grab it. Anything else over here? Kind of, yeah. In fact, I think I'd like rail to come from there to get to all of these. So 
So maybe a T intersection around here somewhere to the right of... that's perfect. To the right of our drill. And then... Over this way. There's nothing else coming here, so... Could just do a single bit of rail going down that way, whoops. Okay. Maybe like this? Can't tell what's happening. There we go. See how that looks. Good enough. And I'll just turn those into chains. Well, I guess that one didn't matter. Why don't we go ride the construction train? Because it's still up here? What's it doing here? Oh, I put it on manual. That's... that's probably why. Uses double the iridium for the same amount of cable. So it's whatever you have available to make the cable with it. Uh... Nano material. Uh, right click. No, left click. Oh yeah, heavy composite. It does use iridium. Hmm. Four becomes sixteen. There's a lot of steps. I, I think we need to bring up factory planner to get an idea of this. What has gone on here? Bloody cargo rockets. Oh, this is an old one before I expanded the um, robot network. Or is it? No, this could be new. Uh, why don't we expand the stupid robot network then? If a cargo rocket c crash here, it could definitely crash over here. Destruction mode. And still can't reach. Lovely. How about... Over here, perhaps? our train reloaded. Okay, that seems better. It's probably some crash rocket stuff over here or over here. Maybe not. I wonder if that's why these rocks are damaged. Unless I zapped them with my Tesla gun ages ago. All right, let's grab our construction train. Get rid of that scrap. Would have been quicker to just dump it in here, I guess. And we're actually just driving in a straight line. So let's put it on manual. I can't actually get in here, can I? There we go. Might want to 
want to fix this roundabout. That's suboptimal, actually. It's probably enough for the trains to get back, but I'd rather not find out the hard way. And this thing's full already. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I hope we've got enough rail. 9.6k? Yeah, I think we probably do. Eighty-six percent. Fantastic. Looks like this is working. The big K2 robo ports are awesome. Yeah, they are. Although, I wish the, uh... Let me just have a look at them. Come on, bots. Get back in my inventory. Jump over to here. I wish the, uh... Large robo port was available earlier in the game. Not sure about the artistic, uh, the aesthetic, as much as some of the space exploration stuff. Doesn't quite fit as well, I think. Uh, but I definitely want it. Give to me all of this. How far are we from Roboport? Advanced Robotics, Material 3, and Energy 3. And advanced tech card. That hurts a little bit. Not gonna lie. I kind of wish cargo wagons had trash slots. Logistic trash slots. Kind of weird how the bots pick where they're gonna do... It's gotta be chunk based. Look at that. They did a big line in front of us. And then, after a while, went down here. I think looking for, like, looking for ghosts for the bots to place things in probably follows a pattern of looking at chunks. Otherwise, very, very sus the way they did ahead of them, but not below them. Oh yeah, I didn't turn my robot bot back on. There we go. Uh, but we're, we're gonna run out of rail before we get this done. 500 by 500 construction area? Hell yes. Actually, let me stop the bots real quick and we'll jump into the editor. Uh... Supply area 200 by 200, construction area 400 by 400. It is indeed 500 by 500, if it's in construction... Wow. If it's in construction mode. I can't zoom out enough to be able to see it vertically, how big it is. Nice. Yeah, we're out of rail. I mean, I've got steel ingots here. I could make rail out of all this stone, but I'm not doing that right now. When do we get a gigantic roboport covering the whole planet? Is that not what we were just looking at? Mazzle Fazzle, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do we have bots get... Confused here still? Yeah, we do. Alright. Uh, I think I'll just manually drive this back, because it's on the wrong side. 
of the tracks. And I don't have a way to loop it back yet. Do you want grey goo? This is how you get grey goo. <laughs> yes, indeed. Grey goo, any percent. What am I doing? Where am I going? Alright, this works. And... resupply. I ask myself that every day. Oh no. Well, good to see you again anyway, Boggles. Hope you're doing relatively well. I have some more locomotives, but I don't think we need them. It would be an interesting idea if you would play at the bots and needed to gradually expand your influence through Roboports. Or play as the bots? Like, have a mode where you don't have a character, like a human body? I don't think that would be hard to mod in. I mean, the editor mode... You don't have a body, although you can just sort of play, place things like cheat mode, but yeah, I'm sure you could do that. I wish vanilla had construction pylons. Oh yeah. Maybe you can mod them in like just that specifically. Uh, we're still recharging our roboports a little bit. I'm not overly concerned about that. What I do want is some more rail. There we go. Alright, let's head over here. Don't have to worry about telling it to stop because it's not going to... Because of the rail signals, it's not going to know how to escape. 87% on Spell Evader? Now I'm nervous that it's going to be stopped for some reason all the time. But no, we are making Astro Science packs right this instant. Fantastic. Uh, how about manual mode? And how about... Oh, the bots are already... They build stuff in such an arbitrary order. I, I imagine it's something to do with, there's like a sweeping action going on, maybe top to bottom, left to right, looking at chunks. Why can't I move here? Oh. Tiny bit of rail that we couldn't see was missing because the train, the locomotive was on top of it. Did you guys just see the locomotive? Like, lurch forward? The moment that that rail was placed? That was weird. It was a little subtle, but not terribly subtle. Do you intend to connect LTN networks through the elevator? Uh, yeah, I know there's a mod that supposedly makes LTN able to deal with the space elevator. Um... But I kind of want to do the solution that I've thought up before that. Where we're going to have a little mix of vanilla trains and LTN. Basically, we're going to use vanilla trains like the cargo rockets. Uh, and it's not difficult to uh, set up an LTN stop. Like, LTN train stops double as vanilla stops, basically. Um, it's not difficult to change their settings around a bit so that basically it acts as a vanilla stop as a higher priority. And you set the, like, you set the provide threshold. Let me just copy paste this so I don't have to do all the settings here. 
So for example, normally I say provide stack threshold 80. That's two cargo wagons. When there's two cargo wagons of stuff in these two containers, uh, LTN will recognize this as being... I want to say viable, that's the wrong word, like acceptable, uh, a, a candidate for a delivery. Um, if we set this to 160, there would have to be two cargo wagons, oh sorry, four cargo wagons of stuff available for pickup here before LTN would schedule a pickup. Uh, so those first two cargo wagons are sort of available for vanilla trains to pick up, if that makes sense. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is have a vanilla schedule that comes to whatever the train station is called, uh, and it's going to take it up the space elevator. I developed a similar system, and just one day later the support for LTN was dropped. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see how well my idea works, though, so... You know. We we all choose our own difficulty with Factorio. Uh, some playthroughs, maybe you want to do Death World. Some playthroughs you might... I don't know, not use belts. Uh, your choice of mods, or lack thereof, also it gives you difficulty or not in different places. Uh, but as something of a self-imposed challenge, and because I want to see what it looks like, uh, I'll probably try that system. And not doing lots of processing steps on outposts, trying to build outposts as small as possible despite the ridiculously small stack sizes of items in 0.6, uh, is also kind of a self-imposed challenge. That looked like a money trough to my Terraria brain while I was moving. Okay, we need some wire here. Accumulator charge must be mostly full. And we're good. Should have been an SE tester. What? I don't like buses. Fair enough. One bridge could handle five to ten different items based on train cargo size. One bridge? I use six by six chests as a buffer and connected normal trains to LTN on both ends with a requester-like logic system. Cool. I'm looking forward... well, I've sort of... I've already designed the prototype. But obviously there'll probably still be some bugs to iron out. Um, but I'm looking forward to playing with kind of uh, spaceship LTN with our dispatching system from Foenestra. I also want to design kind of generic spaceships where, like, we can only build a spaceship so big at the moment, but the next version is going to fit exactly in the same uh, outposts and spaceship docks and stuff. Um, where would be a good... how about we use this since it's already here? Maybe like that? And we'll copy paste like a this. That'll have to do, I suppose. And back into rail network you go. Fantastic. Let's... I didn't even realize there was a... well, I, I know I realized it earlier, but just now I didn't even realize there was a drill here. A uh, core fragment... a core seam. 
don't think it's a two-way signal you placed. Uh, it wasn't supposed to be this time. Because it just happens to line up conveniently. So... If you're going back this way, you can go here, but not up here. If you're going down here, you can go this way. Yeah, that seems okay. Never mind, no worries. Once I also had the idea of a mod that is LTN but without trains, instead defining the transport method yourself, but I'm way too busy to code something like this right now. Kind of like enabling you to program LTN but with almost vanilla. If, if it was possible, well, I've heard it's allegedly possible, probably with way too many combinators, um, but I, I spent quite a lot of time basically trying to make LTN in vanilla, uh, and was pretty disappointed by the limitations. Rather that the stations are not train stations, but instead combinators. Whoops. My inventory is going to get full of stone. 88%? Hell yes. Oops. How much does it take to make the space elevator? Wow, okay. I knew it was going to be a lot. But 500 heavy girders, 2,000 aeroframe poles, glad I automated those, like, at scale. A uh, 1,000 refined concrete? I haven't got that automated. And we need 100 heavy bearings, which we're going to have to build a block for regardless. 1,000 cable, too? Uh... Oh, 1,000 cable, like, after you've built the thing to get it started? Wanted to get universal simulation for maximum efficiency, just to realize the last step is locked between Energy Science 3. <laughs> Best investment ever? Yeah, definitely. Well, from what I've heard and seen. And even if it were more expensive, just the convenience of it. Remember those pre-LTN stations with piles of logic and wires that never really worked? <laughs> I can imagine. I mean, I've seen some clever stuff with vanilla trains. Uh, Damsel, Mindclat, got some good stuff going on, for example. Priority systems with vanilla trains. That takes a bit of a thonk. Don't miss the cable upkeep unless you want to throw 1,000 cable at it again. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've heard the... Oh, we out of power poles. No, we're not. I heard the cable upkeep was relatively trivial, like, minuscule for what you're getting out of it, basically. Universal Sim is awesome, indeed. I recommend you a speaker that notifies you when cables get low. Might not be the worst idea. Except I'd, I'd have to set that to be pretty aggressive because we need time to react if tables are not getting produced. We need time to fix it before something bad happens. So maybe even at the rail block where we build the cables, just set it up so that, oh no, my inventory... Uh, set it up so that if... What just happened? Uh, if, if cables are less than X at the point of production, then we notify. Or maybe even 
do some math to check the throughput. Then again, it's a much simpler circuit, less UPS, uh, if we just check if cable is above X once it gets that high. I got sad when I wanted to power my whole base off the elevator and found the limit. Yeah. Just build more elevators. I'm curious to know how much need or utility there is in that. Like, how big of a base do you actually need before having multiple space elevators sounds reasonable? You can only do two? It's a hard limit, really. That's a little disappointing. Still going to be way better than... Um, know, sending cargo rockets or something. Why would they hard limit it to two out of all the... Uh, I went the wrong way again. Out of all the possible numbers, you'd think it would be one or... I don't know, more than two. I need to turn left... And then this'll do. We can now get our train to find its way. If you want power, then two elevators are the limit. Oh, so the actual elevators, you can have more than two? Can't do a planet full of space elevators then. Yeah, where's my orbital ring? How many more drills do we have to go after this lot? Uh, one, two, three, and that's it, I think. We got a lot of bots crawling back to us right now. 89% on the spell evader. I have a dream. A dream that sounds like doop a doop. Alright, while that's recharging, maybe I'll double check this is all working. Seems good. Uh, this one also seems good. That looks kind of weird for some reason. Uh, I'll just check that trains can path there. Yep. And uh, yep. And we're going to want Braille down here, perhaps. And over here. About, about this. Did I? Yeah, I did power this, otherwise the drill wouldn't have been moving. Okay. Uh, one like this, and one like this, and one like this, and one like this, and get out of here straight rail. And big pole. I can't actually see where this would reach. Now I can. Thank you, pick a dollies. That'll do. Oh, we're here. That didn't need to be so stretchy. Uh, and we'll need some signaling. Just like that should be fine. And like that. Really don't need to go all out with this one. But I need some power. What? 
Why couldn't I hear it? There we go. And there's one over here. And once more. Like this. And this. And chain signals. Like that. Hey, Dardano. Good to see you again. Oh, well, you're welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and I think that's everything for that branch of the rail network. Alright, how's our train looking? Nice and charged up and ready to go. Oh, the bots are still coming back, otherwise that inserter wouldn't have just swung. I think limiting the amount of power transferred by the elevators makes this feature kind of useless. I mean, power transfer is secondary benefit, really. Yeah, this is true. Um, there's always energy beaming, like, if you need copious amounts of power on planet. I I love energy beaming. I really don't see it as much of a hassle to set it up. Especially when... Uh-oh. I think we just lost some bots. Oh no. Why were my bots just coming back now? Oh no. Wait, did we just lose like all of those? Uh, how many bots did I lose? No, I've got 50 here. So what the hell? Banished to the nether realm, indeed. Oh my god, nope. Yep, they were all coming back to me, not to the, uh, to the train. How many bots is this? Oh no. Why were so many bots coming to me? What? I don't understand. They're all coming back to this RoboPort. I guess we're gonna find out how many there were. I can actually, like, pseudo-cheat. Uh, there's, like, a setting I can change where the stuff that's in my hand gets transferred between these surfaces or not, so I could pick up the bots and put them back, but, like, whatever. It's fine at this point. Elevators are good for outposts, indeed. Uh, anyway. What was I about to demonstrate? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it, I, I imagine this will still be valid from last playthrough. Power. 4 gigawatt high temp. Uh, let's look at the ratios here. So we could... We can heat this up like crazy. No heat pipe is needed. Uh, we can get... Well, what's the power here? 560 megawatt times 8 is 1120. So this can consume a thousand, I think. This can give us a gigawatt. Right? Where's the high temp turbine generator? It doesn't say... I'm pretty sure the high temp turbine generator gives us one gigawatt. Um, and then you get a little bit more from the condenser turbines over here. Um, but like, this is all you need for over four gigawatts of power. Um... It's, it's very, very neat and tidy. They make one gigawatt, indeed. Um, and normally you would need Naquium heat pipe, I think, to transfer, uh, like, that high of a temperature, but since we're not using heat pipe, just connecting it directly, um, you can actually do it before you have any Naquium. 
Albion Light, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's get back in the construction train and park ourselves down here. Honestly, kind of amazing that placing solar panels directly next to the sun doesn't have any deleterious effects. Uh, I mean, they're special radiation-proof solar panels. Don't worry about it. Well, not radiation-proof. They gain energy from radiation. Space elevators in the 90s. It's happening. We are bottlenecked on Astro. And Astro is bottlenecked in the places that we want it to be bottlenecked, basically. Let's head down this way. And that should be far enough. Get this core drill moving. Fantastic, we're down to 22, but... Oh no. Nope, never mind. I thought we were starting... Uh, I thought we were out of blue belt for a second there, but I've actually got a couple of hundred here. I think there's still a bunch of blue belt back here. 405. More than we need. And get in this side. Just read the one I found. May still just set up manual trains to transfer between surfaces. The support is not in SE directly yet. Fair enough. Or the uh, LTN space elevator. Why is... Oh. There we go. Fantastic. That bot is still looking sad. I also probably just shouldn't risk something like that uh, for the big stream save. Oh, that doesn't connect. What the hell? There we go. Fantastic. And let's drive our train this way. The only drawback is you can't see the train schedule until it arrives at the surface. That's weird. Oh, I guess I, I could imagine how that works, yeah. So is it like... flinging the train through the elevator and then giving it a schedule? our next drill. Accumulator is charging. Fantastic. Uh, I think all of these are done now. There's some core fragments. There's some core fragments. There's some core fragments. And there's a train leaving with core fragments. Beautiful. Let's go back. And I think we've only got... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let the bots catch up. I think we've only got like three or four drills to go now. Buck Buck, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Thank you for the three months. You can only see the schedule that the train has on the surface it's on. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, let's count. Uh, we've got 20, 21 core mining drills, and I believe it was 24 
uh, locations. Yep, three to go. I can scarcely believe it, but we've almost core drilled this entire planet. And we've actually got way more than enough power still. Alright, so one, two, and three. I think the first one's fairly obvious. We'll just come down here. Core drill... like so. And... maybe like... this. There's our and then up here we'll just connect this way and signal like that. Well, I get I probably we probably don't need to be adding more signals here, but whatever. Uh and then well let's get that one done first. What's the efficiency on the core miners? I believe we're down to like 21%. It doesn't say... It, like, when you place one, it says the efficiency. Have you ever played the C-Block mod? I have not. I'm struggling with it right now. Yeah, it's a little bit infamous, isn't it? Alright, our train is ready. Uh, looks like our charging is mostly done. That's fine. Let's head down here. Marked uh, at home. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How many core drills do you place per planet? I wasn't planning to place a lot of them, but I mean, in the long run, I'll be placing maybe nine, maybe 16. Um, per planet. I want to keep the surfaces relatively small, but right now this is our only source for vulcanite um, until we go interstellar, and there's actually only 24 core seams on the entire planet, so much to my surprise, uh, we're going for all of them. Wait, 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 let's get some big poles before we go. That's further than I thought it is. And that's fine. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be getting slightly less than one-fifth per... Slightly less than 20% uh, per individual coal mining drill compared to when we placed the first one. You can just trim the surface when you're done, should reduce the amount of chunks. Yeah, it, it, the thing is it trims it in a rectangle, so I don't think it's going to... I don't think it's going to make that much difference, actually. Guess we need a smart trim mod. Apparently. We have... I'll, I'll just double check. Yeah, there's no biters on this planet and it's confirmed. So it's not like trimming is going to spawn biters indirectly. Oh, it looks like the bots can already reach the end here. Except for my bots with the blue belt. It, doesn't, it really doesn't need to be blue belt, but whatever. And back we go. Uh, that just leaves these two. Which, now that I look at it, I've kind of gone and made this a little awkward. Why don't we use this roundabout as a jumping off point for these two? 
if I can find him. There's one. Um, I kind of want this to go here, and this can go down here. Alright, that looks pretty good. Let's get power poles. That's a good fit. Oops. Again, with it not connecting. Construction train is ready and waiting. How many zigzags did it make here? Bruh. Whatever, I'm not gonna ba I'm I'm not going back to change it. I don't think uh it's gonna slow down the train or anything. Alright, let's head over this way, I guess. And wait for a while. There is a command to remove inactive tiles, really. Let's get rid of that superfluous straight rail, it's bugging me. Here comes our train. Probably won't have trouble removing these two. There we go. Alright, manual drive. In here. Actually, we'll get rid of this while we're here. Why even have those straight rings? That's a bit less of a mess. This one, and this actually is needed. Never mind. Where is this train trying to go to? Oh, I see. We're in the way. There we go. Uh, I might actually want some regular signals. No, wait. It's a big. It's a big single rail. We definitely don't want that. For a fact, we don't need more than two more core mining drills. This does return server not found. Factorio prints? Uh, it's loading for me. I don't know what else to tell you. I've been thinking of finding somewhere else to put the blueprints. I mean, we do have blueprints on the Discord. Um, but I wonder if there's a better platform as well for people not on it. Why do we have double power pole here? There we go. weird bit of vulcanite here. This is 
sink sag though. Dead for me too. Interesting. That's like half the chat, apparently, can or can't open that link. I'm in Europe, suppose those for whom is dead live around here too. I guess bust out the VPNs for the sake of some Factorio blueprints. Wouldn't have expected, uh... To need a tool like that for something like this. Alright, so we want... whoops. What? Why can't I... That should be fine. There we go. Oh, I didn't see. Let's pick this up real quick. Yeah, 21... 20.85% 20 effective. It should be below one-fifth. Um, once we get the last drill down. Do I have the opposite, the mirror of this? Nope. Alright. How about you go over here? And emulator. Charge greater than 80%. And double check that the train fits on this side of the signals. Uh, we're also going to need electricity for all this. There we go. And we don't want coal in the coal mining drill uh, pickup station. Haven't paid for my VPN in ages. I can't imagine a reason that's deliberate. Cargo rocket has sustained damage. We love cargo rockets. This is in the robot network? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, they're still picking up another cargo rocket. Lovely. Or is that the same one? Perhaps. Okay. 94% on Spell Evader. Very exciting. Still bottlenecked on the Astro. If the bottleneck changes, I have to suspect something's very wrong. And... we're good? Fantastic. Wait, let me see the percentage. 20.41% effective. So, I thought it was... Let, let me just double check this. We've got 24... Core seams. Uh, 24 drills. Let's click through all of them and make sure they're working. The first one is the last one. I believe they are working. Some of them weren't in motion? Yes, they were. Fantastic. So it's just this one waiting for 80% charge. And there it goes. Nice. Uh, yeah, but I thought it was um, x to the power of 2. To get the uh, to get x times the equivalent of the first drill, so I thought twenty 
four drills. No, 25 drills would be exactly 20%, right? We need five times five drills for 20% efficiency. Yeah. So it's slightly above 20% efficiency. That, that checks out. It might be a DN it might be a DNWS server that's down. Yeah, that's the kind of thing I'd expect. Yesterday I set up BioSludge. It's a pain to get a self-sustaining system up and running. Yeah. Need that critical mass. Absolutely. Okay. Um I wanna check that all of our core mining uh, all of our core drill Sorry, not drill. Uh, core fragment storages are not full. That's looking good. That's obviously looking good. That's not moving right now. It's about to. What's the individual rate for these? Two per second, you know. Uh, that is also climbing. We're just double checking that all of these stations are actually functional. If we find one completely saturated, for example, LTN might be set up incorrectly. But I think this is right. Okay, that's actually all except for this part. Oh, there's a train on the way. Fantastic. We might might need more trains, maybe? Even though individually they're all not very fast. No, we've got two cargo trains sitting... Three, four cargo trains sitting idle. I think we're okay. Fantastic. And... Now we wait. Should I stop sending coal? I think we're going to bottleneck on liquid rocket fuel anyway, but it would be hilarious if uh, we've got four eight thousand here, four hundred stacks. That's almost a full cargo rocket. It can barely keep up putting in the cargo rocket sections with the long arm inserter. That's kind of funny. And now it's filling up fairly quickly. Yeah, I think I'll make this one not coal, actually. Uh, can we copy these settings and filter out coal nice and quick? Do I have any active providers? That would be a yes. Alright, that'll take about... T 300 seconds at most to empty, but then there's all this coal in here as well. Oh, and I'll have to change the settings. Uh, let me just make this not launch on cargo full for the moment. Research again? Research is moving. We're just, we're just slow. It's at 94%. Infrared is moving. It's all in motion. We had 200 Astros stored here earlier and now it's gone. So we're, we're very much not bottlenecking on the energy signs now.
cruising along at a snail's pace, indeed. Gotta keep you guys in suspense. 95%. I hate those meteors. My moon went from 1 to 30% threat. Oh, the biter meteors? Rip. I didn't know it could change the actual threat percentage. Uh, is that new? Oh, okay. Because it outputs the thing that's at the bottom first, it's outputting the vulcanite core fragments first. Interesting. Uh, how about... How about this then? Wait, no, that's not what I... Mm, that was of suboptimal intelligence. No, don't decon that. Okay. We need a filtered output. For coal. Just like over there. Then... Active provider... Times two. Do we have storage? I think so. It wouldn't hurt to add some more. Why is this? Oh. There we go. Oh, wow. I think we're bottlenecked on processing the core fragments. I, I, I suspect... Wait, no? That's not full? What the hell? There is a train coming to pick it up. Okay, there we go. Do I need to maybe not limit these two? It'll get a little imbalanced, but maybe that's fine. Or I could put a splitter here if I was serious. But yeah, we should be bottlenecked on the processing, but I see no core fragments in here. I think it's probably because I limited this to one cargo wagon each. Alright. Uh, and I want this to be set to the same. Vulcanite CF. Fantastic. I'll wait till the coal is out of here before I give it the launch signal. I mean, I could do it now. Just doesn't matter if we send a bit of coal just once. But I think I'd prefer not to. Coal is practically free on Hagen ever since we got that recipe to turn oil into coal. Oh, we're bottlenecked on the bots now. Oof, owie. Um... How about... There's another rocket. Fantastic. What about the coal in here? That's a lot still. Trigger cargo full. If there was any bottleneck for loading the rockets before, it's gone now. 
Ran into a problem when two stations couldn't schedule more than one train at a time between them. Train limits and thresholds was set higher. Interesting. 95% to spell evader, indeed. Still bottlenecked on Astro all the time. Uh, we need another five recipes like this. It's always infrared now that this is bottlenecked on. Um... So what's 95% of 2,000? Or rather, what's 5%? 100? Uh, and it's actually about 50. Maybe a little bit more than 50. Because of the prod bonus here. Yeah, like probably 52 more recipes of... Well, not recipes. Uh... Because we get two each time. So like 26 significant data. Which is... Uh, 936... Um, astrometric insights. Which is bottlenecked on one catalogue for two. So... 468 more catalogues, and we're done. And we're not quite keeping up with however fast this can go. It looks like downtime is like 20, 30, 40 percent maybe? It's hard to say. Well, why don't we just check catalogue? Uh, there it is, astrometric catalogue. In the last 10 minutes, we've averaged 6.1 per minute. So we need like 400 something. We're looking at probably over an hour? But every time I estimate this stuff, it turns out it's quicker. I don't know. I don't think we're getting it in 35 minutes though. Probably. Then again, it just went to 96%, so that's like maybe 20% less than I was estimating at the very least. Uh, but yeah, I think we are finished on Granis. Up until the point where we come back and put a space elevator and use spaceships to collect this stuff. And I could deconstruct a whole lot of stuff here. The whole support system for the cargo rockets, which is to say a lot. Um, but yeah, we've tapped every single core seam on Granus today. And now, let me just double check. Our theoretical max rate for core fragments is more than a blue belt. That's actually significantly more than I thought. Well, no, I was estimating about 40 if we got, like, 16 drills. So, yeah. Uh, almost two and a half stacks per second that we need to send back. I wonder which of these... Oh, never mind. I definitely know the answer now. So we'll... You know what? Let me just drop off everything here that I can easily replace on Hagen, just in case we need to do anything else. Um, not my liquid, not my solid rocket fuel actually, give it back. Uh, where did it go? Yeah, just give me... Does this work for jetpacks? Probably. And... Don't... Oh, I clicked it away already. There we go. And... Seems good. 
Alright. So we're going to ride the next rocket back. I wonder if they're going to take turns or if it's going to keep being the same rocket. I mean, I could always disable one of them. Let's see how quickly it's emptying back on Egan. Pretty quickly. Wait, I just realized... This is our bottleneck... ...for Vulcanite Core Fragments right now. This blue belt right here. Assuming a few things, like the trains are going to keep up properly and stuff. Uh, because we're able to produce slightly more than a blue belt. Mine empties at 240 per second. Add more belts? Yeah, I might do that. It's kind of wild. Uh, let's get the construction train over here for a little while. And how close are we to our rocket taking us home? Pretty close. Fantastic. So we should definitely be bottlenecked on core fragment processing now. No, we can do 48 per second. That's perfect, actually. That, I, I could not ask for a better amount of core fragments that we're able to keep up with here. We can, we can process 48 and we can produce, uh, 48.13. <laughs> wow. I'll take it. No, it's the other cargo rocket. Make one blue belt for each bulk loader. It's going to always be balanced. That's not the worst idea I've ever heard. Um, our, tr our train is gone already, though. How about this, and this? And bring back construction train. Uh, is it too late? Yeah, it's too late. Missed the rocket? I was in this rocket, I was waiting for it to launch. Alright. Uh, that's, that's that one getting ready again. I don't think the other one is going to be fully loaded by the time this is empty. That's my suspicion. Why is this train still here? Oh, it's waiting for two minutes because I like the bots to have a chance to come back if I'm not paying active attention to it. Alright, we just need some blue belt to be honest. Ninety-seven percent on space elevator. I think we're gonna finish it today. Uh, every time I, every time I do the math on how long the science should take to get done, I, I somehow overestimate it by a significant margin. Uh, that's all that. That's everything we need. Get over here, please. And wait for inactivity... 30 seconds, just to be sure. Okay. Oh, perfect timing. Let's replace those. Get rid of that. And... I am arriving. As we crash. Lovely. I could have just built this myself, if I had stuff on me, I guess. That's it. Uh, it won't necessarily be balanced if 
we're getting a trickle of four fragments put back into the cargo landing pad. It looks balanced at a glance. I think if the bots brought an odd number of stuff, for example... Well, it's working now. Oh, also... Oh no, never mind. That's fine. Anyway. You know what else I could do? We're never going to get um, 80 stacks of cargo rocket sections in here, right? I could actually tell LTN what's in the cargo landing pad. And if it ever did get to the point... I mean, we're going to stop using cargo rockets before reusability gets that good. But if it, if it were possible to get 80 cargo rocket sections in here, I could just put like a negative number to pretend that the cargo rocket sections are not there. Extent stream cough? Cough? What? Extent stream. How many cargo rockets are we sending? Wow. That's a lot of vulcanite. So, what about our other bottlenecks now? We're getting... Uh, apparently 50... Let's see. We're not actually quite getting 50 crushed vulcanite per second. Yes, we are. Because the, the vulcanite is net positive. So crushed vulcanite, uh, 50.688 per second. This is consuming... Uh, like th more than three... About three-fifths of that. So now we're bottlenecked on this thing. How much enriched can we get? 20 per second? And this thing wants double that. Um, so we, we, we definitely don't have to build another one of these yet. But we could potentially double enriched vulcanite which we could put here if we so desire oh wait that's for the crashed cargo rockets isn't it um i don't think that's the worst idea so let's have another block for enriched vulcanite Nice and close to the Vulcanite Core Fragment Processing. Let's summon Construction Train, which is actually just getting reloaded now. My old PSU did not fry the rest of my machine. Congratulations. Glad to hear it, Akira. Very, very good. Let me go get myself resupplied. We're going to find out pretty soon, potentially, if solid rocket fuel works for jetpack. It does not. Okay. Pretty sure it did in the last version I was playing. Oh, that's a train. Scary. Pull up on Friday and it sounded like someone fried a small, fired a small gun in my tower. Yikes. All right, here we are at the mall. Let's have a look at our construction train. Perfect timing. And park yourself over here, please. We'll probably need... Oh, wait, do I even have... Um, I don't think I have centrifuges. Oh, I do. Fantastic. 
But I think we only brought half of what it takes for this build. So we'll... I'll, I'll just take some centrifuges over there myself, actually. There we go. Probably going to need to pick up some more prods as well. Actually, they only take like two prods, right? Spell evaders on 98%. Pipe. The autosave made me think I ran out of rocket fuel. Alright, we're fine. Nothing's more scary than getting hit by a 500 kilometer an hour train. <laughs> and that definitely did not happen to me several times. That's good. I'm glad it didn't. Uh, for some reason we have... Oh yeah, yeah, we have RoboPorts built into this already because cargo rockets. That's kind of convenient. I'll also put... Uh, how about another one over here? in construction mode. Nice suit. We're gonna need a bunch more red belt, uh, and a bunch of two by chests. It looks like one more trip and our train will finish the build. Uh, maybe we could do it a little faster if I go get some stuff. Also, a little short on prod modules. The train will probably get those, though. How are our prod modules? Oh, that's a good sight. And we actually caught it just in time to know that it... Uh, approximately when it would get full. Oh, actually, I think it's, I think it's probably been saturated for a while, and then we placed a bunch of stuff, and then more prods got delivered here. We can find out. Production three. Yeah, it's actually been saturated for like twelve minutes. Oh, look how spiky! Wait, why is that so consistent? I think that's when the Vulcanite gets delivered. So we really did just happen to catch it reaching the point of saturation. Fascinating. I think I'll get rid of that 120 seconds. 98% indeed. I wish we could see exactly how much was left, but it is very, very exciting. Now it's only like 10 minutes since I calculated that it would t take an hour. Um, not sure, I, not sure how that works. I, I don't know, but I'm, I'm glad nonetheless. Okay. Did you calculate in the prod modules? I did, actually. So, my calculation was we need 2,000 Astro Science Pack 1s. Uh, that's our bottleneck. 5% remaining would be... Uh, 100. So it's about 50, or a little... More like 52, because of the 48% productivity bonus, uh, and that is half as many significant data, so like 26, uh, and 26 times 36 astro, so like half of 30, 26 times 36 divided by 2, is how many catalogs we were supposed to need. I don't know. Oh, and I looked at, I think I looked at how many Astro catalogs we'd been producing recently. You can make two more room in Constructor Train by removing burner inserters and normal inserters. Uh, 
Mr. JJ Triple One. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's true. We're not placing burners very often. Uh, it also load it a little bit faster. Okay. So I think as soon as I see the prods getting put in position, we'll queue up the rail to be replaced. Wow. There they go. And our trains will have path. And we should get the rest built just as the resources... How is this not connected? Oh, I see. Um, I guess we could do this instead. There we go. Fantastic. And we get to see this pseudo coverex system get started all over again. As it puts double sulfur on this side and nothing but red on this side. Ah, uh, good job. There's plenty of sulfur to come though. Here it comes. Beautiful. I quite like this build. Speaking of cover X, uh, I see a bit more 238 here. That's good. I remember the days when sulfur used to be the biggest bottleneck, indeed. I mean, this is a pretty oil-rich planet. Um, crude oil frequency 121% compared to 100% for Nalvis. It's not as much bigger... It's not as much as I expected, actually. But whatever. There's still a bunch of stuff we haven't built here, and it's all red belt. Um... Give me, give me some more red belt, real quick. There we go. I think there is... Miss one line? What? What is that red section haven't watched much recently? Uh, this thing? This is uh, enriched vulcanite. It's kind of like Coverex. Um, so a bunch of crushed vulcanite goes in with one enriched vulcanite, and a bunch more enriched vulcanite comes out with less uh, crushed vulcanite. And there's some other stuff going on at the same time. But it's it's basically a different flavor of Coverex. All right, let me just reset. My requests. There we go. 99% on Dispelevator. Everyone stay calm. It's happening, indeed. One thing is the research. Another is making the darn thing. Yeah, of course. Oh, crap. I need to... Oh, no. I need to automate refined concrete. Oh, no. How many uh, girders do we have? Decent amount. 2,000? I think that's more than enough, right? We could make four spell evaders with that. I don't have any heavy bearings or refined concrete, though. Kevin, thank you very much for the resub. Much appreciated. Six months. Thank you so much. Hope you are doing well. Space elevator incoming, indeed. 
Then get moving. <laughs> yes, yes, master. Alright, uh, what should I do first? Refined concrete, does it need water? Or can we do it... Yeah, it needs water. Where are we making concrete? I think there's a block for it. Alright. Um, can we justify putting it in the rail network? How many things does it go into? Black reinforced plate. Light reinforced plate. Hazard concrete spell elevator and nothing. Do either of these... I think I've looked at this before. They're just nice floors, right? Yeah, there's really no... No reason to put it into the rail network in bulk. I just need a short train to be able to pick it up. Some cringy crap. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I don't actually have any tier 2 assemblers at this point. So we need iron beam as well. Uh, I don't suppose we have iron beams here. We have iron. We can make some iron beams on the spot. Um, how much do I need for dispel evader? A thousand? Uh, I, I can't get it done while there's 1% research left to go. Oh, no. Um... So it's iron beam plus concrete. Could we, like, maybe put it here and use some long arms? Not quite. Oh, that's stone brick, you buffoon. Uh, we could take from over here. I guess that's probably the way to go. Or... Honestly, the volume of refined concrete we're going to need, unless I want to make that super duper fancy floor. Maybe we should. Uh, I have to do a whole build. No. All right. How, how fast can this make concrete? We can't prod module it. I'll just do tier threes. Let's double check the belts can keep up. Uh, 20 concrete per second, that's less than I expected. 20 sand, 10 stone brick, 4 sticks. That is not that much. I can do 5 sticks per second if I don't prod it. Um, probably should prod it, but I'm not going to do it right this second. And that's a spell evader. <laughs> well, what we can do immediately... is Spellevator Cable. We're going to need a thousand of this, apparently, to get our Spellevator started, regardless. Thank you, thank you. And there it is. There's our first Space Elevator Cable. I love that emote robot. Uh, that's going to fill up kind of quick. Stack size 20. Sheep say meh. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. So how many concrete, refined concrete machines do we need? Well, we don't have to consume all of this, right? It's only 20 per second, though. Uh, I would need 24 machines. That seems like a lot, actually. It's a simpler recipe than this one. How about... Something like this. And it's two solids in, one out. Where am I going to put the iron beams? I kind of want to put prods here. Let's go pick up some prods. 
If I'm going to make copious amounts of concrete, maybe pave the whole world and make it look nice. Um, I kind of want to pay less than the maximum amount of iron. Then again, iron has been no trouble this playthrough. Not even a little bit. And there it is. There's the space elevator. I haven't done a build for heavy bearings either. I forgot. Let's get the concrete in motion first, since we need a thousand of that. Interesting challenge, pave a whole planet with concrete. Uh, see Damsel's playthrough. That challenge was accepted. Uh, and let's do refined concrete out of here. I kind of wanted to use a shed belt. But it's going to be a nuisance to do that. Substation's going to be in the way. Oh, also... Long arm inserters can go here. Where, where is the output going to go? You fool. If I do all the belt... Hmm. I think we should do a half and half belt. For input. It's pretty slow. Okay. So output could go like this. Or how about... Why do I have to do it this way? Why don't, why don't I just build it the way I want and then see what we're going to change? Something like this. Might be good. Uh, inserters. Long arms for output. How fast do we need water from this? Pretty slow. One might even say very slow. And we need the iron. Uh, could you stop for a second? Oh, that's a lot. Hurry up and empty. Oh, wait. I'll just do a shift C. There we go. Okay. I want a pair of these. Doing sticks. With prod modules. Uh, that's like a fifth the speed, actually. How about three prod modules? That's fine. Or I could put a beacon down, but I don't even have a speed module handy. Actually, a speed? Hmm. It's only 100 kilowatts for these beacons. That looks kind of weird. Uh, let's go get some modules, I guess. But more importantly as well... How many uh, beams do I need? 3.3 per second. Beam... That is super slow. Wow. Um, okay then. How about something like this? Let's go get some speeds. 
maybe even some efficiencies. Where's our module build? I went too far. No, I didn't. It's perfect. Okay, what should we research? I don't know, but we're going to accumulate a bunch of research while I don't research. Uh, cryo gun, it's actually super powerful, but we don't really need it anymore. Jetpack? A better jetpack sounds nice, let's do that. We need bioscience for the character improvements. Oh yeah, we can do zone discovery now. Let's do some of that. Hell yeah. Alright, back to our concrete build. You don't want a solid cube of concrete in a couple of AU wide. Ignoring structural integrity and its own gravity, of course. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, let's do this up here. Turn it around. I want. I just wanted it at max distance. Let's put some speeds in here. That should be way faster than necessary. We need four per second. That's ten per second. That's eight per second almost. That's five point two. Uh, I don't suppose these are going to be fast enough? Not even close. Um, well, my idea was to lay it out like this. And I think I still want to do that, so we'll just need more electricity for our concrete. 3.33 beams per second. That is still only 1.98. Are you serious? How about this then? Three point nine six. Okay. Three point three three. Can we get away with one more efficiency? Oops. 2.6. 3.3. Wait, is that? It's just under. Oh, that hurts. That stings a little bit. How about this then? Can I even fit that there? Sort of. That looks so sketchy. Yeah, it's not that bad. 4.9 per second. And I did that the wrong way around. Fantastic. 3.96. And too slow. Alright, perfect. Good enough. We're only paying triple the power cost. Uh, and then let's do belt. That, that's not very symmetrical. Whatever. It'll do. And that'll be our refined concrete. Fantastic. Just double check, we can't put it. Uh, and let's just do... Now, let's do the usual, where we can do short or long trains to pick this up. Why not? 
Except maybe I won't store 50 trillion refined concrete. It stacks to 100. We only need a thousand or two. Um, output like so. Limit the front one to one cargo wagon. What have we been doing? There we go. Wait, what? I already did that? Pick up station, short trains, long trains, and make sure there's some extra before we pick it up so that this will sort itself out. Doesn't look right. Okay. That's our refined concrete. Okay, I did not mean to place it behind the buildings, but I guess we'll have to do the whole thing now. Give me some more. Oh wow, that movement speed though. I might just have to pave the whole world. Refined concrete goes into reinforced plate. We go from plus one plus fifty percent to plus seventy-five percent speed. Not that big of a deal. Also, we lose half of it and we have to add a bunch of steel. Do we have the research? We do. Surprised you put jetpack above spaceships? It's quality of life until we get the spaceships. It's fine. Besides, it's not that expensive. Like, okay, put it another way. There's no way I'm going to finish Astro 3 before jetpack gets researched. Um, that's just not going to happen. Especially because now that we've unlocked the Spellevator, uh, we're going to stop with this mess, and we're going to start building out a base properly, just like we have on the ground here. Uh, I want to put quite a bit of thought into the layout as well. I want it to be fairly organized. And have, like, all of the astro science in one general area with a pretty deliberate design and all the other types as well. But some room for changing things around a bit as well. This is what I was trying to do earlier. 100 heavy bearing time, indeed. Um, although we're actually a little bit over time. Uh, how quickly can I smash out heavy bearings? It's like two in, one out, right? With lubricant. Isn't it 1,000 that's needed? Yeah, we should have it already for the concrete. We need 500 heavy bearings as well. Um, let me check the recipe. Bearing, yeah, two solids in, one solid out, plus lubricant. So I'm thinking, can we steal this? No, the fluid's going to be all... Ooh. Maybe? If this was heavy bearing... First of all, I want to know the rate calc. 23.7 per second, two belts of iridium plate, one belt heavy girder. Uh, that should probably be fine. 
Hold on. Where's that build I was just looking at? This is where the iron sticks come in. Oh, wait, I want to change that. Regardless, uh, could we fit... Where the hell am I looking? I keep trying to move the, the camera, but it doesn't want to... Could we fit all of our output on one belt? Yes. And... I'd need some undergrounds like this. Okay, so lubricant could go in that way and like this. It could be done. This is going to be different. Of course. This is going to be different. Why is that not facing this direction? There we go. So... I don't think we need the undergrounds here. That's not helping anything. And we'll just have double... Wait, wait, wait. No, that's fine. We'll have undergrounds... Wait, oh, these ones are backward because in the other build they were iron sticks. So we're just going to have some undergrounds for output, like so. So, oops, that's not right. And since it all fits on one belt, I do it like this actually. Okay. 500 bearings? Yes. Uh, Alright, so we need heavy girder and plate in... what? Oh, it needs power. Two belts of heavy girder, so one, two, three, four sides of the belt. Uh, sorry, that was plate and girder is less. Lubricant is not going to be much of an issue. I think. How fast is lubricant? Super slow. Alright, I want to steal... Uh... This layout somewhat. Just for the positioning. Nice and symmetrical. We're gonna have iridium plate, iridium ingot. And that should be it, basically. Except I want this stuff down here. I, I 
this. A professional day. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we don't really need that container there. This is going to be bearings. I said it was going to be, but why do you bring up the blueprint book when I'm trying to type bearing? There we go. Fell asleep and my damn cat woke me up after 30 minutes. <laughs> oh no. Uh, let's just do the push to front. Big provide stack threshold, short trains plus long trains. See how that works. Uh, and we're going to need a lubricant drop off. Just like this. Oops. And then. That's one off connecting where we want it to. Unfortunate. So this just barely fits. I'm okay with that. Uh, let's see, we've got 256 stacks. I'll just say 100 times 40. For the plate. And for the I almost said ingots, that would have been wrong. Heavy girder, 50, 100. So 100 stacks for each can go in here. Let's do our test input. Plate. And girder. Why is Gerda not... Oh, because I set this to Ingot. That's probably why. But I did set these to Gerda. Right then. Which way around do I want to do this? Uh, that should probably be the opposite, actually. Because... The closer side of the belt, or with a higher volume item. There we go. And lubricant drop off. Let's simulate the lubricant. Uh, and we need to actually connect it somewhere as well. That's pretty convenient. That's not so convenient. Uh, that's pretty convenient. What about this? Seems good. And we need a substation down here. Alright, I think that's it. Oh wow, that's like, uh... That's our 500 heavy bearings right there. Once we get this thing actually built. Filter the output loaders, indeed. So we need to request uh, lubricant uh, plate. What's 40 times 160? Two train loads. 6,400. And 50. 8,000. And lubricant as well. And 
we're requesting all of these things. It's going into assembly machines, and out comes heavy bearing. I think that is our build. Let's try it out. Let's remove the cheat items first. Heavy bearing. Snap to grid. Brain stop names. good. And that goes next to heavy girders. Where should we put it? Probably next to the iridium stuff. Uh, here it is. Construction train. Goes over here. And wait for inactivity. That's kind of fast, not gonna lie. Yeah, it should be enough for probably the whole game, based on my experience with heavy bearings. Uh, maybe this version's different. We need it for purple belts, actually. And superior inserters. And tier 3 mining drills. Advanced assembly machines. Okay, maybe it'll, it'll be a bit different this time. What the heck is this? Naquium plate. It costs 5% of a heavy bearing to break down Naquium ingots into plate. Bruh. I ordered 6 kilograms of various gummy bears. Nice. No build like overbuild. Exactly. There is no overbuild. There is only open construction and I need more stuff. Uh, we need more prods, speaking of which. Also, we should have our... yeah, 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 yeah. We've got 6.8k concrete here already. Uh, what was our provide threshold? 100? This is 80... Uh, let's get some more prods. Did we have the beacons and stuff built? Yeah, we did. Wait, don't tell me those were regular substations. Nope, we're fine. Okay, and jetpacks at 28% done already. Fantastic. Halloween is over? And then? It will arrive, I will relabel it and send it to Damsel. Wait, what? Do I need to warn Damsel about something here? Go out shopping for an hour and Spellevator is a thing. Yes, it is. Although we don't quite have the means to build it right this second. Uh, but we've got the trains on the way to make it happen. Do we have the girders? We sort of don't, but we only need um, one girder per bearing. 500 is going to be more than enough to make this happen. And plate should be on the way, I think. That's lubricant. That's also lubricant. God damn it. Uh, how much plate do we need, though? Four... Like, 200. Not counting prod modules. Yoink. 
And there's our bearings. Alright. So that's it, right? To make the spell evader? I, I was actually going to type spell evader there. A 2000 aeroframe poles, we should be able to just pick those up. 1000 refined concrete, 500 holmium cable. Let's go get them. The poles are up here. Did it say 2,000? It's going to be kind of hard to carry all of this around to handcraft. There we go. Uh, I'll bring the bearings, concrete. How many girders do we need? Another 500. That's fine. Uh, processing units, we need another 400, and 10 stacks of holmium cable, and concrete. Alright, holmium cable, concrete, blue chips. Factorio engineer is a god among men. Imagine handcrafting a freaking spatial orbital elevator. Indeed. Alright, we need blue circuit. That is not a circuit, that is a tier 9 speed module. I couldn't remember what we got for the module, but I knew it was kind of useless uh, by itself. There's some blue circuits. We also need a thousand concrete. We need 10 stacks of each, concrete and holmium cable. And Holmium A Bell. Just let me pipe fluid up and down the elevator. I mean, there's fluid wagons. Where are we going? I th I feel like I forgot something. Up to the top right of the map of the base. Blood wagons are better than other existing options. Least bad, you mean? All right, and we need five hundred. Oh wow, the insert is actually struggling to keep up with us. Uh, five hundred bearings. Why do we only have 38? Oh no. Did I... Did I math wrong? What the hell? We need a lot more heavy girders, apparently. Uh, the plate is also missing. I thought we needed literally, like... We needed 500 times... Or I think I missed a zero or something. Let's just take all of this. Not to worry, this part is going to happen very, very quickly. I often think about maintenance when playing Factorio. We only build new things and everything just works. Nothing breaks down. Yeah. Pretty lucky that the best engineer in the galaxy is the one that crashed with this spaceship. The engineer that has the power of anti-entropy. We're halfway already with the heavy bearings. And... 50 to go. Gimme. And weirdly enough, we can't prod module this build. There it is. That's our space elevator. We did it, chat. Uh, you can probably stop with the aeroframe poles. 
right now. If I pick this up right now, is everything just gone? I think it is. I'm not going to tempt fate by, like, quickly right-clicking here. And... That's it. That's our first space elevator. Alright, tune in next week. Uh, for now, let's see who's playing Factorio. Anyone doing SE? Anyone at all? I don't see any... Oh, there we go. Immo's doing SE. Good job, Immo. Alright, let me queue this thing up. Where is the spell elevator? There it is. Wow. That's kind of big, though. Alright, we'll play with it next next week. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and we'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of the Blueprints if you're into that, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. Tomorrow we'll be continuing with Terraria Don't Dig Up, wherein I'm going to kill the Moon Lord like a dozen times on a practice save or attempting him again on the dark sky. Take care, Veldak. Thanks for hanging out. Boggles, thanks as well. And everyone else. Recently we started playing Factoria with a colleague and the game won't quit anymore. I have to kill it. Oh no. I hope you were able to save at least. All right. Take care, guys. See you next time. Take care, Evil Plot. So if I do Steam Turbine. Let's say we have, I don't know. 50 steam turbines. Oh my god. Hello, Raiders. <laughs>